Hey everybody, Snooplox here, and today we're going to be playing Banjo Kazooie 2D's Adventure made by Seohani. So, this is a brand new hack, it just came out yesterday, and it pretty much replaces Banjo with 2D. And the cool thing about this is that there's whole new, like, custom movesets and everything. And, uh, yeah, well, we kind of see on in this intro sequence here. Actually, I, I won't spoil the custom moves here. We'll, uh, we'll learn them on our way. So, as you can see, like, uh, Goody replaces Banjo here. The animations are all down really well. Um, yeah, so we'll go to file 2 here. Because I tested it just to make sure it worked. Well, I tried to play it on console last night, but, uh, it didn't work on console. So, I'm just playing on an emulator right now. But I think Seohani's gonna try to... Get it to work on console, but for the time being, it's just emulator that works. But, uh... This game, like, compared to something like a Mark Kirkle hat, which is made mainly with Banjo's backpack... This game specifically uses, like, a lot of other, like, ROM hacking techniques. Um, so this intro is actually gonna be a lot different here. I probably won't read everything, I'll just kinda, like, point out the differences here. She takes my breath away. Off. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My protagonist protagonism stands me. Okay, I didn't even get that. <laughs> er, but there is this boy. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one cooler than me. Why? It's Banjo. Cool and nice. He's the coolest boy of all. Okay, they don't have the rhyming there. No, no, no. You must be mad. Nicer Prota can't be. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Banjo. He's nice and cool. Oh, I wish I would have got the rhyming still, like... I mean, this is the first revision, so they could obviously just edit the text. Well, we'll see about that. We as a group should, uh... I'm up with the rhymes this stream. <laughs> yeah, so obviously Banjo's like... Replace the 2D there. And the anime, obviously Banjo looks a little bit funny, but like, it works, like... Um, hi there, Banjo. What are you going to do today? When my little lazy sister wakes up, we are going on an adventure. The audio alright, everybody? Um, I think it should be fine, but I tested before, but... I feel like sometimes I'll watch my streams after I, uh... Do them and I'm like, oh wow, like the audio levels are kind of off. What's going on, Banjo? Shut up. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> if Banjo thinks he's cooler than me, I'll steal his protagonism and generic he'll be. There we go. Oh, I think, uh... Is that your sister? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see her. I've always skipped this, so up there... In the sky. So some of this stuff, like, I'm not sure how different it is. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little boy. You'll soon be generic. Well, yeah, her not rhyming is uh, less cool. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. <laughs> oh no, she's she's got him. Somebody. Help. What do you want, man? Don't let me sleep. Yeah. No, yeah, Stu's just a stuffed animal, it just doesn't move at all, yeah. Exactly. Right. Go on, Banjo! Shut up and let me sleep. Okay, I get outside and see what's happening. It actually works really well with just like two E being the protagonist and Banjo being captured. Alright, so you play as 2D. And, you know, I guess we don't have our moves yet. We'll actually learn our moves. Usually I'd skip this, but, uh, she actually has different moves, which is really cool. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Tootie. So you are the tiny Tootie. What was all that noise about? Where's my brother Banjo? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed him. Calm down, Kiki, I'll get him back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. Mountain tail layer is really dangerous, so you'll pr probably need some training before you go up there. 
Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good. Okay, we'll press A. I'd like some help, Bottles. What do I do? Explore this area and look for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See, okay. Yeah, no, it's like really impressive. Like, I know this is a lot more than just a game shark code that like swaps the two characters. So make like these animations play it all this work. Like, took a bunch of custom coding and work. I haven't used these molehills in so long. Er, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this and tap R to move the camera behind. Is that all warm breath? Nope. Hold R to keep the camera behind. Try it out. I'll see if you at the next molehill. Okay, so this one probably the. I think she actually knows like the ponytail twirl. From like uh. You guys, um, your jump could do with some help. Pa. Do moles know all it more than you? I'll um, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Come on, use your braids wisely. Wow, it looks silly, I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a helicopter spin jump. So this jump's pretty insane. That's it, I'm ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin. I'm not listening. Hold Z, then press A for a mighty flap and dump. Doesn't need Kazooie at all. That's all. The jumps. Keep practicing. So this jump is insane. It's not just like the other jump retextured. It's like a whole new jump. So I think this is going to make the game significantly easier at like certain parts here. I think uh, if you hear like kind of goes... It really reminds me of like the ponytail twirl from uh, Donkey Kong 64, and even the distance you get, it's kind of similar. Do the 2D jump IRL. <laughs> uh. Oh, say Ohani! Yeah, Dixie's Avenger, great to have you in chat. Oh, I'm really excited to play this, it's really cool. Yeah, ponytail, but even more OP. Fancy learning to swim. Oh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. But okay, I'll try it. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. Swim underwater, press B to dive. Go under, give it a try. Okay, so that's probably just stock. Yeah, the animations are pretty messed up, Morgan, but... Okay, so yeah, so... This, it's probably gonna be the last area I check, right? Yeah, here we go. So the swimming's kind of weird, it's like, her hair kind of just like goes up a little bit. But no, there's like, every move in this game's custom and like, as we move on you'll see that there's a bunch of other like custom stuff in this too. Um, oh yeah, the beak barge or whatever. What are they gonna call this? My braid barge attack needs the help of your golden hair. At least I got some hair bald stuff. Hold Z, then press B for a powerful braid barge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty similar. Like, the only move that, like, really seems like it functions differently is, like, the ponytail twirl. But... Yeah, there we go. He has the head barge, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the hair is super strong. Duty, isn't it time for you to learn the claw swipe attack? What is it? I must know. You press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Uh, well, how about your braids? Just try it, bottle. So that's cool, Ben. You just play this. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. And there's Topper Wackum 2D. Yeah, I think this is just. Replacing Bounce with 2D. I wonder if, like, all the text will be changed or if we can, might find an instance where it's wrong. Wow, nice one. Try this. Anything else, small boy? Not a tat tat? Now I'll try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. 
Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of these are just Banjo's things. I wonder, like, if it took animation to get this to work, or if they were just kind of able to just rig it kind of the same. It was probably just using the model and rigging it, kind of like the DK rap with everybody. Bullseye, stop rolling, I feel sick. Nope. Fuck it. Alright. Jeez, I haven't done this tutorial, like, in so long. I always skip it whenever I play this game, so it's weird to do it again. It's time for you to learn a trick. It had to be a good one. Try out the braid attack. Tap. <laughs> By jumping and pressing B. Uh. <laughs> that, that's pretty jank. I like it, though. <laughs> the braid comes out of nowhere. Give me another. Oh, that's great. You've learned all the basic attacks now. Is 2D slightly faster? That's a good question. It would be cool if they mess with the movement speed, but... Uh, I don't know. Like, turning seems a little bit off, but I think it's because I'm playing on emulator, and there's probably a little bit of input delay compared to when I'm playing on the original. But it could be a speed thing. Um, hey 2D, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not, tell me about flying root mantra. Not yet, 2D. Jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Maybe at the top of the spiral. Now and then I'll tell you what to do next. Yeah, exactly, Game Creator. Once the game gets decompiled, it's gonna be like insane, the mods that will be able to come out of it then. Oh. I'm gonna just change the dead zone on my controller, maybe. This just- it just feels a little bit off. Maybe this will... That's what you- a little bit better. I think it's partly because... Like, most Banjo because we ROM hacks run on console. And just emulators just- they always just feel a little bit off to me. Mainly just because of like input delay and other stuff, but like it's not bad by any means. Yeah, this move is so overpowered, wow. Oh? Is this different? It looks- oh yeah, it's 2D, yeah. Instead of Banjo, yeah, that's cool. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. Do we have all of them? I don't think we do. No, we're missing one. Okay, so the one that we're missing... Um... Oh yeah, yeah, coding the bones and everything and using micro code. Yeah, like... Very impressive though. Actually, I think there might be one... Which one, am I, which one am I missing? Probably on a tree, unless it's at the top. Jeez, it's been so long since I've played this game. I, I won't enter the stream until I get the last one, don't worry. But, no, it's not up here. It's definitely... Definitely gonna be down here. It's probably on a tree. I took a weird route. Okay, it's not in this area. We went over here, underwater. I got the one, like, underwater in that little alcove, unless there's two underwater. It's probably from climbing a tree. Yeah, here we go, we're good. Yeah. Wait, can I? Wow. That's insane. Alright, we're good. Yeah, because right after I read the climb the tree one, I didn't think I got one. Alright, well done. You're ready to tackle the witch's lair. I sure am. Show me the way, bottle boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. 
Yeah, most of the text... Well, actually, I guess I'll just read all the text in this game, because there are going to be changes. I think it's the first time I've ever actually read the text in Banjo Kazooie. I always have skipped it all. <laughs> That's great. I'm just so scared. I like how Kazooie's kind of lightless. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me cool and Banjo get generic. <laughs> Let me go, you fat hag. My sister will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, she will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klongo. Push that switch. I'm tired of being a generic witch. Yes, Mistress. Mistress. Freddy's power is to be ready. Cutie, no. I think, uh... There should be rhyme. Like, I don't know. We should get someone to be, like, a script writer and get the rhymes right. <laughs> it seems so off. But I guess maybe it's because the part. Like, she's not cool anymore. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Okay, so how's this animation gonna go? Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy, and I'll go and find- Okay, yeah, this is just Eric. Alright, so she doesn't even hold the Jiggy, she she floats it above her. And yeah, I guess uh, that's usually blue, now it's purple. I kinda see feels like playing Banjo because we with like the ponytail twirl from Donkey Kong 64. But because yeah, he's already dead. If you enter the world, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw piece. I got the first jigsaw piece bottle, boy. Great, filled in. Alright, I think that's gonna be the same. You know, it'll be cool. Every single level, obviously, we'll be learning new moves and stuff. I was curious how, like, uh, these moves are gonna change. I guess this is Talon Trot and Eggs, and the, uh, no, what's it called? The ground pound, I guess I'll call it. I know it has a different name, but... Beak Barge or something like that. There are three new moves to learn in this world, yeah. Um, here, we'll do this, uh, this somewhat properly here. I don't think there's anything underwater in here. Where is this Jinjo? Oh, pfft. oh yeah, we can get back up. Nor yeah, okay. Oh yeah, there is notes down here. Okay. We don't miss those. But I'm wondering how fast I can beat this game because I remember like when I played this game as a kid. I remember one day I just played Banjo Kazooie all day and I beat the game in like six hours. But I just played it like uh... yeah, that shell's probably always been there, but that shell just doesn't look that common. But it's probably just more prominent on an emulator, too. Maybe that shell was added. Probably not, though. But. Oh! Alright, are you alright there, Drake? Or... I recently... Um... 30 minutes per level, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of nice that you got your timing afterwards. Especially levels like, uh, TikTok Clock. Or not TikTok Clock, Click Clock Wood. Can take a while. Especially, like, a no death run takes a while, too. Because on your first playthrough, you're most likely gonna have at least one death. It's kind of weird, like, in 2e, like, your deaths really don't matter because your notes are saved. Yeah, no, I almost agree with you, Garg. I think, like, I prefer Donkey Kong 64 to Tui, but I had DK64 growing up, so I have, definitely have a bias to that game. But if I was unbiased, I don't know which game I would prefer. Puffy Chimpy. Oh, wait. Where's this orange again? Maybe just climb the tree, right? No, that's not it. Jeez, wow, it's been so long. Um. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. I know it's probably super easy, but I just... Did not rec 
I really thought it was just... Climb the tree, or you can just get hit by an orange. No. You're Kong a good shot. Could be somewhere else in the level. But... Jump to grab the orange. Oh, okay, that's... that's literally it, okay. Yeah, collision issue. Yeah, collision issue with oranges on the tree. Is that how it usually works? Like, okay, now I'm confused. Like, it's been a while. Like, is that like normal that it goes like that, or is there something different in this mod that made that different? Like, did I just not jump and like? Yeah, so yeah, so we got these new notes, because 2D uses melodies. Collision. Time for 2D to play the ancient magic flute. Um, hold Z and press the top C button to shoot a pink melody out of the magic flute. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from down. Use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Sounds painfully. I always... Um, struggle. Play while I'm crouching. And carry a hundred pink melodies in the magic flute. Oh, try the new aim feature by pressing the top C button. In first person mode, you could shoot them by pressing R. Here's 50. Okay. Oh, the collision box for 2D is completely... Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I was sitting there like... Have I just totally forgot this game? Like, has it always been like kind of that hard? Okay, so that's why some of the collectibles seem a little bit off. I was kind of blaming it on my controls earlier. But I think it's just because, like, something like this. Yeah. Like, I'm on it. Banjo would have collected it by now. But yeah, I have to kind of be, like, right on things to collect them in this. Oh, I don't have the ground pound. Okay. So, I guess this was not the optimal route. And I didn't even get to take care of him. But we have to come back for the ground pound anyway. So, we'll, uh, we'll take care of Congo once we learn ground pound. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too, Eli. The pink musical notes were regular, but yeah, it makes sense that they just replace the eggs. But... Oh, the pink music notes. The shading's just like a little bit off compared to the regular ones, you know? Like, uh... Because if you look at these, compared to, like, the regular music notes, it kind of... There isn't a gradient on these, you know? I think if there was, like, a gradient on this, this would look, like, perfect. But... Okay, nice, and this should be the Talon Trot. Hover while... Le We'll let you take steep slopes with... Okay, that sounds useful. Hold Z, then press the left C button to continue. Hold Z while moving you around with the control stick. Go practice. Hmm. It's just a little flow off the... Oh, I always forget the boss is that. Yeah, so this is the talent shot. Z, we just... Floats. Which is cool. It's, it's definitely like a way to do it, you know? It doesn't really seem like that off. And like, if you actually look... Like, there is an animation there. She is, like, waddling around, so, like, it works. Okay, the, the movement seems off with this. Like, I don't... I kind of want to just blame it on my controller, but... I'm going to swap controllers really quick. Because I'm using a Hori, and that could be it. Because the, uh, the analog values are kind of different here. I'm just going to swap. Cause that, that just seems so off. Cause it might just be the speed with the Hori. Okay, let's try a generic 64 controller here. Let's see if that changes it, or if it feels more natural. Oh yeah, I think that, that's better. Okay, it's just... The Hori pads are really good for Mario 64. But for aiming things and anything that's involving a character with like kind of more speed, the values just seem like a little bit off. Yeah. Yeah, a slightly bigger hitbox for 2D would be nice, but 
I call this Star Buster just into the air, then press Z to slamming hard down to the floor. Slam. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Get used to it, Tiny Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Um. Whoa, Tootie. There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Yeah, it's a pretty big issue with Hori Pads. Like, they work perfect for, like, Mario 64 and Mario 64 mods, but a lot of other games I just prefer the original controller. Okay, that's it's gonna take a while to get used to the smaller hitbox with these notes and everything. But oh, why why are these so big? But yeah, if there was like a like if you look at those notes compared to the other notes, like that has a nice gradient. As I was saying earlier, I think uh, if I had to like critique this. I would say. The, getting the rhyming right would be cool. Uh, yeah, getting the rhyming right, and maybe just getting a, uh, making the the uh, what you call it, notes look a little bit more like the other notes. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh wait, it always does. What the heck? That's the animation it plays when it hits a wall. Okay. And you can't see it. Okay, I have the horrible timing. Alright. Beam notes. Oh, I'm a sucker. I forgot that you have to stand on it to get it. Uh, wait, but we are OP2D, so the Ponytail Turtle might be able to help us out. Jeez, it's been a long time since I've actually played- I mean, I guess I played the randomizer, like... The last two times I played this, it's been randomizer, where you don't really have to worry about- Well, you do have to worry more, but... Oh wow, I overshot it. That's how OP that move is. Wow. So we're okay. We won't have to like re-enter the level. Yeah, that's that's insane. Okay, that one was just a little bit off. Okay. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. I'm just so used to Mario 64 for precision, like, collect- and, like, the hitbox is so small, too. There we go. Nice. Yeah, dude, you can just fly to the top of Gratilda's lair, yeah. So, yeah, that actually is kind of cool. Like, we'll probably be able to, like, go out of bounds. Go out of bounds, do a bunch of cool. Yeah, I am not used to this smaller hitbox. Probably by the time I get to, like, uh, Linker's Cavern, though, I'll be used to it. Oh, it looks so funny, it's kind of floating like that. No, so this is just, yeah, 2D's adventure, but Seohani wants to make another game where it's, like, whole new levels with 2D. But, no, it's really cool to have, like, I'm pretty sure this is the first Banjo-Kazooie mod that has, like, another playable character in it, which is really cool. And I know Seohani's been working on this a lot. And, like, to get all this to work with the bones and just, like, all the animations working, it's really impressive at the end of the day. Um, I think... Oh yeah, let's just get this out of the way. I... I'll forget that if I don't. Okay, we'll get the Switch, and Konga. I don't actually think I did this yet, though. Yeah. And then, yeah, Termite, and then we should be pretty much done this level. 
But no, like some of the moves, I don't want, I'm not going to spoil anything, but some of the moves that you learn in this game are just incredibly cool and clever. Yeah, the lack of the talent shot, but like, to be fair to say, Ohani, how else would you make it work? Other than, I guess you can make 2D do a handstand. That seems like a lot of work. Just making her float like this seems like, uh, you know, the optimal way to do it. So, I'm a fan. I like how it works. Okay, I think, I think it'll be good to just kind of wrap up this level and go termite. Her hair? Yeah, you could probably... Like, maybe her hair just, like, constantly kind of spins while she's walking, and it lets her... I don't know. Be weightless a little bit more? But No, I think the floating works fine. I think my only critiques are the way the uh, extra music notes work without the gradient and the lack of rhyming. Other than that, it's been just, like, fantastic so far. <laughs> oh! Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to hit him when he's, like, pounding his belly. Because those particles kind of seem off. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, prize to bear. Oh, I'm not a bear. Okay, that one isn't. Oh no, I am a bear. Yeah, no, that works. Judy's a bear. Yeah, so that works. Prize to bear. I'm sitting here hating. No. <laughs> Tootie is a fellow bear. Yeah, the note explosion... I like it, I, I don't know, it's... It's unique, I guess. Like... Oh! So, if it works, it explodes too. Okay. I thought... Oh, no, okay, so that makes it cooler. It just always explodes, okay. Yeah, okay, that's actually kind of cool then. And then it kind of makes sense why the enemies are taking damage from it because of the explosion. Because when I was originally firing the notes, it was at this tower, and they were only, like, exploding if it didn't work. So I thought that was the animation for the note not, or for the note not working, if that makes sense. Me, Mumbo, best of shaman in the game. Um, watch, oh boy, Mumbo's match token hit by which, fine. Um, do not get enough token for Mumbo's magic, we'll get signed, bring more. Um, I... Okay, there's no way it's five in stock, right? That's changed, I'm thinking. Maybe... Maybe it isn't, but like... No, there's no way it's five in the first level. That must be a change, eh? Like... It is... It is five? Okay, I... It's been a long time. Five in the first level. Well then. I'm missing. Ooh, the okay, there's probably gonna be one over here. I kind of just want to get this level like one and done. I know, obviously, you can just go and. Unless I'm missing, oh, I might have missed a couple in the overworld. Okay, no, here's one. And then another one. I'm just worried about notes now. This is the first place. Okay, thank you, Joe. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're good. Everything's fine. I'm worrying for nothing. There's our five. Oh, 
Eat gum, oh gum. For a second there, I was thinking, oh no, I'm gonna have to like, uh... Go back to like, the overworld to get like, another token and... Oh, it won't be good, but no, we're, we're, we're good. Oh, no, Christmas will be good there, Ben. Looking forward to it. Yeah, 2D's playable. Well, now, like, for anybody watching the stream, they're gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. For anybody watching the stream while I'm transformed, they'll be like, Oh, this is just the original game. Like, what's different here? I don't think there's anything different with the forums, but yeah, so now this is just like vanilla Banjo Kazooie. But no, well, like when I was like played this game the first time, I thought every time you transformed, it used that many mumble tokens on the sign. So, like, I would never transform twice in a level, you know? And then, when I was, like, going 100% the game or something, I'd try to transform a second time. I'm like, wow, I can't believe I actually thought that. It's like, once you pay, you obviously just can transform as much as you want. But, like, when I initially played the game, I kind of thought, like, the mumble tokens might respawn or something. And it's like, you just need that every time you transform. Like, wherever you, whenever you transform. Not all the notes in the world. Here we go. I have the special notes here. You know, I think the coolest thing about this game is going to be coming kind of midway. Midway through the playthrough here. Seven. Yeah, I think that's 100%. Yeah, less than 20 minutes, right? Yeah, yes. As long as you can. <laughs> As long as yeah. If I was four seconds longer, I would have been disappointed in myself, but, uh... <laughs> that four seconds saved me. Fun. Oh, and I guess uh, we have a reticle for when we aim now, too. It's just a dot, but... There's already a hundred in each of the world as they are. Alright, I know there's bottles. <laughs> Alright. Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah, sub 20. Let's go. Yeah, Mr. Dom. But we're good. Alright, the uh, talent shot here. I'll just skip these because I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. Like anything where they're just explaining like a mechanic in the game that doesn't have to do with 2D. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, it'll be your first and last. When you open a world door, Maddie's escape and roam on once more. I mean, that could be the truth for some playthroughs, you know? Probably like 3% of people that play through this game, they probably stop there. They prove grunty, right? I don't know why I'm so concerned about these. I think it's just because they're a new collectible. I'm like, oh, I should collect these, but like, I not like I'm going to be running low anytime soon. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be the same, but might as well talk to one, because what if what if this has changed? Hello there, young one. I'm Brentilda. And he's nice to her sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hay. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of... Okay, no, it's just going to be the same. Wait, what am I doing? What? 
to remove piece that you have put down, press down. Stuck there. Wow, okay. Oh no, this is a new mechanic, I think. Okay, so usually you can okay, when you are in C up now, you have a reticle, right? And this reticle Why is it so like then it like it's either Okay, and when you're in C up mode, now you can press R to just uh, shoot one of your notes so you can have more precision, which is cool. That's a new mechanic here. So that's just with the R. Oh shoot, since I'm using Project 64, I could have had an input display up, but oh, whatever. Because the thing is, though, I can't have input display when I'm on console. When I'm playing Mario 64, I'm using Parallel Launcher. I don't know how to do an input display with Parallel Launcher, so the only emulator I can really do uh, input display with is uh, Project 64. Can even shoot while transformed. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that out there. Because, yeah, if I just go to first-person perspective when I'm transformed, there's a decent chance it will work. So definitely try that out and I guess we're not gonna transform again until uh, what's the next level we transform? Bubble goop? Or probably before that. Ahoy there, this B Trof Cove. Any moves. Oh yeah, we have to learn to fly here. Oh no. We probably didn't get the Jinjo too because of the hitbox. Oh yeah. And I guess the animation didn't play. Yeah. Yo, Enigmatic! Hey Snooplax! I know it's been a while. I'm glad I'm finally able to catch one of your streams, so I hope you've been doing well. Thanks, man! Thank you so much for the donation there, Enigmatic. No, I've been doing great, man. How have you been? Good having chat there. Oh, nice! Jinjo! Oh, these are... We. I'm a purple melody. I hope you fly. Oh, okay. Oh no, we don't have a ledge grab in this game. I always forget that there's no ledge grab in... But like, these notes, kind of similar to the other notes, like... If you look at them, it's they're just purple. They had like a subtle gradient, like those, like, if you look at those notes, right? You can see the shading and you can see the gradient, but these notes, it's just like a single color. So if it had that like kind of subtle gradient too, just look a little look a little bit nicer. And it would match like the other ones good, you know? Even if you took like the other ones as a base and just kind of color swapped them and then just, you know, manipulated them in like Photoshop, that would work pretty well too. Hey, this nipper's beach, you can find nothing without Help, help me then, your tiny bear needs- oh yeah, just try it. Or no, we go. Yeah, we don't use eggs for him. I'm gonna die. Well, probably not, but... I'm like impatient already. <laughs> no. There we go. That window's actually smaller than I remember. And it's been so long since I've just played Stock Banjo, because a lot of this stuff I'm not going to realize if it's an Easter egg or change. So if you guys ever mention or notice something that's different, let me know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow, uh, went down one health there. Oh, I like Tootie's face, how you can see it like slowly like getting happier and sadder too. That's actually really well done. Alright, 
cool. Right, so and the volcanoes. I guess in Kazooie, there's not really well. I guess there's that one kind of lava area when you're kind of going to a uh, desert level. Uh, nope. Okay, let's uh, not die to notes here. Okay. This is a flying disc, but you'll have to find my molehill before. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's that one specifically. Actually, no, bottles will refill our health. We can just talk to him. Oh. I think it's this one. Is he... Oh. Yeah, the, the smaller hitbox is slightly annoying. It's not that bad. Alright. This is your big chance, raid, Raided here. It's time to fly at last. It better be easy, wow, guys. Simply, simple enough. Even for you to stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 purple melodies to help you into the air. Hmm, energy a little low, I'll fill it up for you. Sweet. And drop here. So, it looks like that is... Camera always like this. I think it was Mr. Don. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so flying. I think it's just like one, one of her hairs is kind of doing it. Not even both. Just needs one. Yeah, they're real. Golden treasure was for me. How oh, harder still the game will be. Oh no. You know, that'll be fine. And yeah, Captain Blubber. But... Yeah, then we'll go to the lighthouse area. It'll be kind of nice just playing this game, like, normally. Like, the last two times it's been a randomizer where I'm sitting there just looking for the last thing for so long in almost every level. Oh. Are there always shells up here? I think some of the enemy placements might be different. There were probably always shells up here, though. I think that's, that's fitting for the level. Yeah, there's some yeah, there's a mumble token there that I missed there. Curious, I'll grab that in a bit there. I kind of wish the mumble tokens were tracked. I don't know. I know it's like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but oh, we don't have. Oh, that was silly of me. We don't have that move, so we're not going to be able to. Oh right, wait, we will. Or no, we won't. I yeah, keep second guessing myself now. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I think she's trying to copy Tiny Kong a little bit there. There it is. Oh, come on. Wait. Nope. Alright, I mean, next time we fly, we'll just fly up here, I guess. 
Yeah, should have learned that move before. I guess when I go into a level, like, I, I remember where all the bottles are. I should just learn the moves. Yo to Boo! Good to have you in chat. Oh, thank you, Lychee. I appreciate it. But no, I... I can't tell if this is going to be, like, an easier game overall or harder, because obviously the ponytail twirl will make it easier. Saying that, though, the, uh... Okay. This was the orange thing earlier. Because look. This hitbox. I can't collect this mumbo token. That's why I couldn't collect the, the orange earlier. And I was, like, so confused when it came to, uh, Congo there. Like, tree collectibles work differently because of the hitbox. But yeah. That's a pretty good example there. Yeah, uh, hitbox is pretty... <sighs> yeah, I think the hitbox... Really? Okay, let's just don't collect that note, Tootie. Like, that's insane, like... Okay, that was the worst one. That note. Okay, so... Pretty sure there's three doors. Unless there, one of them might not be in a door. Yeah, Clinker's Cavern will be pretty tough. Uh, DK Racing fan, like... But I... I think... I'm hoping everything will be good. I'm not sure if this game was 100% playtested. Like, playtested to get 100%. But I think everything should be good. Oh, there's gonna be a custom castle puzzle, too, so that's... Uh... Yeah, any water levels? <laughs> uh... Here's the about Click Clock Wood. This move is going to help a bit, so... I know what you guys are saying, though, overall... One... Wait, is it just two? My brain thought it was three for some reason. There was something in me that's like, I need to get one more, but... Hitbox, a little bit different. The Treasure Trove Cove is probably, it's a pretty solid level overall. And it, like, since I've been playing so much like Mario 64 lately, they did get the graphics, like, pretty good in this game, like, overall. Like, it's a pretty big upgrade to Mario 64. I know it was made, like, two, three years later. Shoot, I should have, okay, I should have read what he said. You can leap really high with the star jump springs. Okay, so I'm gonna star jump this and press and hold A. How does this work? Or wait, no, hold it. Okay, so pretty much the same thing. Well, you can tell that we just barely got that with the hitbox. Um, okay, we'll do all the flying stuff later. We'll do this stuff first. And then we're gonna miss it. Or no, we got him. This one, I've always been like, I'm sure you're not supposed to do this, but this just works like so well too. I swear like half the people just do this. Yeah, the spring pads actually, I like the new uh, spring pad there. Oh yeah, Clinker's Cavern with keyboard. Sounds rough. Ooh. I 
think we need to go back to this platform because it doesn't have an X on it later. Um, we should check for stop and swap stuff too. I doubt the doors will be open, but like it's worth checking. It'll probably just be vanilla. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this area for here. Wait, I wonder, can we just go... Oh wow, yeah, that was easy. Leaky patch up now, empty water. Okay, so I'm thinking we gotta spell Tootie here, because I heard that this is a custom puzzle now. Solve my puzzle. Okay, it should just be 2D, right? No? Is it just Banjo Kazooie? Um. Okay, we'll just assume that it's the same. I thought I heard that there was a custom puzzle. But Banjo. Zooey. Wait, do we do same letter? No, there's another A. Over here? Oh, yeah. We're good. Zooey. Gate opens, the other codes are new. Like the cheat codes are new? There's like new cheat codes in this game, Seohane? Oh, what type of new cheat codes are there, Seohane? Maybe I'll check them out like when I beat the game. If they're like really different. Yo, what's up? Easy. Want spoilers. Um. I guess I'll leave it. I mean, when I beat the game, well. If you want to maybe just send it to me on Discord there, Seohani. And then when I complete the game, if you're not like in chat, then I can just see like some of the custom codes if I want to do them after I beat the game. Cause yeah, I don't think I should start like doing like a bunch of cheats like midway through my playthrough. Yeah, Blake, no, this modification is really cool. Oh. Enjoy your drive there, serious. <laughs> oh, oh, they're Cheetos. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, so probably, because yeah, golden feathers, blue eggs, and red feathers are obviously going to be different. So it's probably going to be like stuff related to the notes. Oh, okay, I gotcha, Sayo Honey. I totally forgot about the Cheeto pages in this game. I feel like since the last time I played this game, I was doing the randomizer. I was like so careful not to miss anything, like not to miss a single note. But this time that I'm playing it, I think getting all the notes should be like significantly easier. I was trying to 100% this game, trying to get like all the notes on uh, Rusty Bucket Bay when everything's randomized. Oh, <laughs> it's so much of a pain. All the clues.
And we'll just grab this. Hopefully we don't fall. Or no, okay, yeah, we're good. I thought maybe I wasn't gonna be able to do that with my small hitbox there, but we're fine. Like, is it true that there was supposed to be a mode in the original Banjo-Kazooie that was like this? Oh, it's doo birthday tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday there, doo -wop. This is kind of one of the cooler diggies, just like, X marks the spot. Treasure. Yeah, but like, it is kind of similar to Tiny Kong, especially with like the ponytail twirl. Oh! Or no, yeah, we can do this. We're not flying. Well, that's weird how that loads in. I'm, that's probably an emulator thing. But. All right. Get this. Oh, oh, they did want a sync quest. Well, that's actually super cool, King Creator. Yeah, so that makes this a lot cooler. Oh yeah, then right over here. I think this is probably one of the most easily missable mumbo tokens. Yeah, then we have... Uh... Let's go this way. Oh, I just love how, like, overpowered this move is. <laughs> No, I did not really know about that history there, the Fawful. That's actually really cool that they originally were gonna ha trying to have a mode that would have been like similar to this, so... I think this is just the straight up Jiggy here, right? Or is this just another path to get over here? Oh yeah, this is a Jiggy. I'm just so thrown off because my last two playthroughs have been randomizer playthroughs, so... <laughs> when you start playing the randomizer too much, like, you just kind of think of everything as just, this is, uh, like, a location for something. Don't know what it is, but something is going to be housed in this area. The hair spin is kind of too OP, but I think... We need something to make up for her small hitbox, though, you know? I think it's fair. Oh, from Guma. Oh, Guma Mumble Tokens. Okay, if I would have got hit again there. Oh, there's 41 extra ones in the game. That's actually a lot of extra tokens. Oh wait, we're good, because we have... That. Uh... Oh yeah, we're okay. But that's actually cool that they have like that custom move there. Where you can actually just like aim eggs in the air now. Might as well get this one too. We're a little low. But I know I was saying this the last time I was playing like a Mario 64 <laughs> ROM hack. I think I'm starting to become like almost like a Mario 64 elitist. Because playing this, there's part of me that kind of just wishes it was like Mario's movement now. Because it's been so long since I played like a Kazooie hack. Like, last one must have been, yeah, the randomizer, like, eight months ago. I've been playing almost, like, exclusively exclusively Mario lately. Can you 
So it just feels weird to be playing like a game that just isn't like Mario's movement. Oh, there we go, got all the notes. Like, the extra life, they got, like, a spot on. Alright, three more notes. Hopefully they're just... over here. They don't look... Maybe here? No. Um... Let's see... I'm thinking they're going to be on a tree. Yeah, the draw distance isn't perfect in this, so... Uh... I'm really thinking it's going to be three notes on a tree. I didn't check every tree by any means. Oh, are just three notes here? And I think we're missing a Jinjo. No, we're good. Is that everything? Two honeycomb pieces. Uh, um. Okay, I know where one of them is for sure. There is... One way all out over here. Maybe there's two way out over here. Maybe the other one is. Yeah, Craig. No, Simple Flix looks great. Like, really proud of him. Cause that's that's tough to do. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play Mario Kart 64 Randomizer again. Okay, and the second honeycomb is... Okay, let's think about this logically. Definitely gotten... Um, I think I know. It's underwater in a corner, maybe? Isn't it like... In one of these corners? Um. Yeah, it's just with my last two playthroughs being the randomizer, it's just... Yeah, here it is. We're good. Alright. I still remember everything about this game. Hey, I don't think the stop and swap location was open, so yeah, we'll just carry on. Different? Is now one hundy. So now to Clinker's Cavern. Um, yeah, I guess we don't need to go to that area until, uh, whatchamacallit, the clock wood. Uh, wait, isn't this just the Dingpot area? Or is that the area behind it? Oh no, this is... No, it ain't correct, because you need to go to the other area to hit the switch to get those to raise. Yeah. I'm 
think in this playthrough it will probably take me like seven hours. Because, like, I think the best I've ever done is, like, just under six. And that's, like, when I knew where everything is. Like, this playthrough, honestly, I'm not struggling by any means. But, uh... I definitely don't know it super, super well. Like, I'm questioning, like, honeycomb locations and, like, the order of moves to get and stuff to be, like, efficient. Even this, it's like, wait, isn't there... Well, we'll try this again, and I think there's an area off to the left that we can go to, and if not, it will be the area down below. Yeah, I think if we go... No, it's not... Well, I mean, honestly... No, maybe. Okay, no, not quite. No, yeah, it must be... Okay, I think I know I know where to go. We go right here and we press the switch. I was just about to say that. I didn't forget about the switch. That's good game design, though, you know? Like, even me, like, you could, you could just see my thought process there being like, Oh, how do we press this switch? Let's check the water, and the only way you can come back up is, like, noticing that switch, so... And then this way... Oh yeah, and this leads to the Clinker's Cavern Room or whatever, that opens up that. Yeah, no, the ponytail twirl is like the only move that I think is like vastly different. The other moves seem pretty much the same. I mean, the eggs are a little bit different too. Magic eggs. There we go. Oh, we can make it here now. Andrew could never do that in the original game. I don't really think this does anything, but something to take note of. <laughs> I like that, uh oh. Like the voices and everything seem really good too. Um. Wait. It's not letting me press B to... Or no, is it C down? You want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press... Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, I... I see what I'm doing wrong. I mean... This isn't really wrong. Because the Clinker's Cavern picture is, uh, whatchamacallit. The Clinker's Cavern picture is in the lobby. Yeah, it's in the lobby. Yeah, I know where Clinker's Cavern puzzle is, so yeah, we're, we're fine. If anything, I sped up going to Bubble Goop Swamp after this. Because yeah, you're supposed to do that after you defeat it, but yeah, we'll have enough puzzle pieces and everything. Tokens are in different areas? Yeah, we just <laughs> don't even need... <laughs> There's Clanker's Cavern. Yeah, so we even have our next level set up for us too, which is nice.
Uh, what if Nintendo made this mod a real deal? Yeah, like, it's pretty close. Like, you think, obviously, Nintendo would have a little bit more polish, but... It's pretty close to, like, Rare and... Or, Rareware's vision of it, you know? Um... Just one new move, which is... Oh yeah, the gold feathers. Alright, nice. So we're able to skip, like, that section, kinda. Yeah, this is the gold feather here. Oh! Alright. Well, I guess I didn't really save that much time. <laughs> Yeah. Boom, get rid of him. Hopefully they don't die in this entire playthrough, that would be nice. But... You'd think I'd know this game well enough, I've only beaten it like 10 times, but... There we go. Over that down. Kind of weird that a lot of people experience Banjo-Kazooie for the first time on like Xbox Live Arcade. And one thing that I'm kind of curious about is the fact that, like, the Xbox version never really got modded. Because... Thing is, though, the 64 version is, de is compiled into code, you know? And the Xbox version, I bet you it's not compiled that much. So it's like, it's probably a lot easier to mod than the 64 version. Saying that, though, how many people have modded Xboxes to play it, you know? So I think that's a big part of it. So if someone did release a mod for Magical Kazooie for the 360, it's like, who has, like, a modded Xbox, you know? And there's no Xbox emulators, unless they released it for Windows. So I think that's probably part of the reason, you know? If, like, almost anybody has access to a Project 64 emulator. How many people have access to a modded Xbox? Yeah, so I think that's probably the main reason, but, like... You'd think, like, I could be wrong, but... I think the Xbox version isn't really compiled at all. You know, maybe it's just as compiled and I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Just in my mind, I'm thinking the Xbox version is gonna be... You know... Super easy to access stuff and change things compared to the 64 one, but... Because even new games, like, you're... Like, if you look, you're... There's, like, Mario Wonder mods that are out right now. And the reason why that game's getting modded so fast is I'm pretty sure that game, like, isn't, like, compiled, you know? It's probably, like, you can... If you can access the game files, you can change stuff, like, fairly easily. Compared to having to, like, uncompile and recompile, like, MIPS assembly language, and it's like... Alright. MIPS is easier? Yeah, like, some people are really good with MIPS. Like, Seohani is great with MIPS, you know? Like, Seohani is also the person that expanded the Mario Kart 64 character selection screen to add more characters. Like, Seohani is a genius here. Like, for the people that make mods, I think, like, the two, like, most... I don't know how to say this, but, like, I think almost, like, the smartest people would be Kaza and Seohani. Like, when it comes to, like, actually, like, screwing with, like, MIPS assembly code language. Seohani makes mods for Mario Kart, Pokemon Stadium, obviously Banjo-Kazooie. I know Kaz is usually only Mario 64, but he's done stuff with DK64 before and he has branched out to other games. But obviously there's other people in the community that are geniuses like Subdrag or like Wise Guy that do stuff for other games and the people that make like the editors and stuff, so... And I think the people that make the emulators do. There's a lot of people in the community that don't make mods, but do a lot for the community that don't really get much recognition because it's like... People that make the tools that people use to mod don't get as enough, enough recognition as they deserve. Because they're usually the ones doing the hardest things too, you know? Hey, what's up, Kanebot? Oh, please. Don't- okay. So I think Subject's probably the most influential modder ever in, like, the 64 scene. But, like, no one really even knows who he is because he's he hasn't really made any mods, he just makes the tools. But, there's, like, articles about him going back to, like, 2004. Like, it's insane. There we go. 
go. Um. Now the mods for Stadium, they're by like the same guy that made this, Seohane. But they're kinda... Well, it's Pokemon Stadium Fusion. And it adds like Gen 3 mechanics and like dual, like, dual type Pokemon. But like, they change Pokemon types, I guess. For like new Pokemon. I'm actually a gym leader in that game. If you go to the gym leader castle, there's like a Snooplax gym leader there. And Seohane contacted me. He's like, oh, you want to be a gym leader in my mod? Like, what are your favorite Pokemon? So it's this gym leader with like an Alakazam and like, uh, like a Blissey and stuff. So no, like Pokemon Cross Stadium. Are, it's, are they called Fusion or Cross Stadium? But anyways, no, it looks like a really cool mod. Seohane has made. Yeah, and we're back. Cross Stadium without Fusion. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Cross Fusion, or Fusion and Cross Stadium. But yeah, this is a full Banjo re replacement hack, alas. Um, okay, I am just gonna go to the bathroom. Like, shoot. Yeah, I forgot that was slippery. I am going to go to the bathroom, but I want to collect those notes first, at least. Alright, get up. The gold feather is like... I guess it's cool, and I guess they actually do come in handy like later game, but... Actually, no, I'll, I take that back. I was going to say, they're kind of useless, but... You actually use them a lot when it comes to the later game, especially in ROM hacks. Like, you're constantly using gold feathers when, like, you get to, like, really difficult parts. So it's actually one of the more useful moves. I was about to say the opposite until I actually thought about it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that works. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom right back. Yeah, we'll just get these out of the way first, and then we kind of do inside the ship. Yo, Mr. Dawn, member for 38 months. Random, but your 15-year-old video was on my recommendation front page <laughs> when I played the ABGN theme song on the xylophone. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dawn. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that was hype. <laughs> Greatest accomplishment. <laughs> Yeah, 
Wait, no, actually. How do we get over there? Oh, we... Okay. We'll, we'll get there some way or another. Because we have to raise Clanker, actually. And that's how... Yeah, my top Guinness record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first, my Guinness World Record first person to play the Angry Video Game Nerds theme song on the xylophone. Confirmed. Uh. Yeah, that video is old though. That video is from like 2007. <laughs> like it's, it's insane. Um. All right. So this is what I'm mildly concerned about here. I gotta do the air bubble thing. And the hitbox is messed up, so I find it hard to get an air bubble, air bubble with Banjo, so hopefully I don't die here. Actually, this isn't an optimal place to dive. Let's dive from here. Because I think this might be tight. I remember failing this as like when I first played this game, and I know I've always struggled with that air bubble. Or no, we gotta go do the keyhole? Wait, where is it? Oh, here. Okay, let's get an air bubble. Please. Nope. 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 No, wait. Oh no, it's working. It's just we're only getting one at a time. Okay, no. Okay, we're okay. Okay, let's just go back up. Or I die. Oh no, this is bad. We'll be okay. I know I'm being a little bit too careful here. I just really don't want to lose all my notes. I've always hated going down in this area. Okay. This only takes like two air bubbles to. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, raising Clanker is definitely the first thing you should do. <laughs> yeah, it's a mod, Zuri. Hey, where's the air bubbles? Okay, let's just get to full health with these. Yeah. Nope. No, okay, how do I keep missing these? Okay. That's I feel like I'm being a little bit too conservative here, but I just really don't want to die. Okay, and then I think we got all the notes. Yeah, that should be it. Alright. We're good. I'm being all like melodramatic here. <laughs> Over a children's game. An easy part of a children's game, but... Ugh. 
Yeah, no, I agree. I like how in DK64 there's no air. Well, they probably did have air originally. And then they saw a gloomy galleon and they're like, okay, no, we're not doing this. Let's have a heart. Okay, I think I've done everything outside here. So, say Ohani, like, it's a curiosity. Did you change your name to Hoot Hoot for a bit and then you changed it back? Because I remember, like, for. Like, one video specifically, I was referencing, like, your Mario Kart hacks, and I, like, you were, like, going by Hoot Hoot for a while there. Did you just change it back recently? There we go. Or no, wait. Hoot Hoot is other modder? Wait, Hoot Hoot isn't you? Hoot Hoot and you are separate people? I feel like I'm finding out, like, Peter Parker isn't Spider-Man. What? I always thought you were Hoot Hoot. Okay. That's fair enough. I million percent thought that you were Hoot Hoot. Like, I really can't. I, I, wow. Crazy revelation. Yeah, Litronom, Dead Hamster, I would never confuse them, but like, I just legitimately thought that you were Hoot Hoot. I don't know why. I th Wasn't it on your channel, though, the hooting time? Or were you helping with Hooting Time 64 a lot, Sayohane? Okay. I... One sec. I'm just gonna search up Hooting Time 64 on my computer really quick, because I, I swear... Like, it's on Sayohane's channel. Um... Hooting time 64. Or no, I guess Hoot Hoot has. No, a Hoot Hoot is a separate channel. Wow. Oh, wait, never mind. Well, Hoot Hoot has some bangers. Okay. No, oh, I am just completely off. I legit just thought Sayohani changed their name to Hoot Hoot for a bit. <laughs> yeah, everyone works together. Well, that makes sense. Okay, um, let's get just the rest of what's underwater here. Oh, that's kind of fresh in my mind. Peter Parker isn't Spider-Man. So this should be like the crowd area here. Like every stream going through going through some like crazy realization. Last stream it was the whole uh stupid uh coin puzzle. Um oh I guess if I had the gold feather, that would help. But no, that last hack that I played, the Shotgun Mario 64, was really cool. Very enjoyable stream there. Yeah, it's it's a regular health gauge. 
Or yeah, like the Banjo Kazooie one. Oh no. Nope. Okay, the way that like Okay, there we go, we're fine. Let's go, Garg. RTSs. I guess in my spare time, I've been playing. I guess Mario Wonder, I've been playing a bit, but I just got that uh, Su Suka game, like the watermelon game for Switch, and I was playing that for probably like an hour last night. And I got a watermelon like twice. I think I'm like okay at that game. I think my high score is like 2,500. That's one that like Ludwig always plays. But, uh. So I'm not like a huge Ludwig fan by any means, but, uh. I like like his Mogul Mail and that stuff. And I was watching his stream and he was playing that watermelon game. And I was just like entranced by it. I was like, wow, this is like really cool. I downloaded it last night. I honestly thought about making a poll, being like, should I play the watermelon game or this? But I'm like, no, I should just play this. The watermelon game, I'll get burnt out after like two hours. I don't know how to commentate the watermelon game. It's like, I'm not that good. But, uh, Suka, yeah. I think it's called Suka. I feel like I'm all, I'm like constantly pronouncing things wrong. Having a YouTube channel has completely ruined my confidence in pronouncing things because I constantly have people correcting me now. <laughs> the illusion in my head that I was pronouncing things good in my life has been totally destroyed. <laughs> uh. Especially when it comes to like usernames and stuff where it's like, it's not like you can just search it up like... There's a lot of like words where it's just like you people just kind of expect you to get into the nuance of like their usernames and stuff, and it's like I have no idea. Uh I think this is just a honeycomb here, eh? That was actually going pretty or no, it's a jiggy. It was going pretty smooth. Pretty much have a plank and then we're done. Yeah, well thank you, Cooper. I'm not alone. I think it's just one, one, one of their hairs, not even both. One thing, when I played Tui again, I thought it was really cool how you can have, like, increased swimming and air and everything, and, like, all, like, the kind of codes and stuff. That's one thing I kind of forgot about it the first time that I played. I know those Tui streams are a lot of fun. Overall, I think 2E is such a good sequel. Uh, I guess we should probably go to- No, that's the hole that we enter in, right? Out of any hole, this is probably the hole we should go in. Yeah, this hole might have something. Oh, just a mumble token. This one's probably easily missable. They get from Ocarina of Time, yeah. Especially like video game pronunciations, it's like. Because, like, you don't know how they say things, you know? Like, I legitimately, like, when I made, like, my tier list videos, I was like, I whenever I make videos, I'm like constantly searching up how to pronounce words now, where it's like. How do you like pronounce Kikiri or like Ganondorf? And it's like I'm just like second guessing myself with everything now. Well, I think Zelda's like really. I don't want to say bad. Bad isn't the word. Confusing for pronunciations. There's a lot of them where it's like, I don't know. It's like Kikiri, Hakariko, um, like Deku. Guru Guru or whatever, like, there's a lot of, like, kind of weird things to pronounce in that game. And, like, they never tell you how to pronounce them. 
If you get it... That's one thing about this move. It looks like I got that because you don't see anything. It gets rid of like... Actually, let's use this. Yeah, at least I have a reticle that, so we can aim. There we go. Yeah, the aim the aiming is actually really cool, Sayohani. So Yo, Litronom! <laughs> What's up? Giving <laughs> chat. No, like, I do really want to play Cavern of Dreams. Like, my night actually gave me, like, a download code for that game, too, so I could just, like, I wouldn't even have to, like, pay for it or anything. But, uh, no, I'm just waiting, like, every time I post a poll, I'll include Cavern of Dreams till it wins, because I think Cavern of Dreams is super cool. It's super cool that somebody in the 64 community actually went out of their way to make their own game and everything. I definitely do want to check it out sometime soon here. It's just, yeah, like, I put it on every poll, and it just hasn't been able to win a poll. But I think it's mainly because, like, not everybody knows what it is right now, but no, it looks super, super impressive, though. Yeah, exactly, Don Leos. Even Nintendo can't get the pr pronunciation of Deku, right? I don't know. I've always just said Deku. But, like, if I hear any other pronunciation, I'm not going to be like, oh, they're wrong, or, like... That's one thing. I really don't care about pronunciation. I'm, I guess some would, but, like, I get it, I get it, though, like... If I hear someone say, like, Delfino Plaza, I'm like, Delfino, I don't know. Though I do get it a little bit, but I would never go to the point where I'm, like, making YouTube comments about pronunciations. Watch as one person on stream looks at my YouTube comment history and find one instance that I do that. Um, uh, These rings can be such a pain in the... Randomizer, too. Yeah, Japanese. Yeah, English, it's it's a flawed language, for sure. But... I always find it, like, just weird to think that, like, lots of people just think in other languages. Even, like, a lot of people that speak English, the way they think isn't in English. Like, they'll think in a different language, you know? Like, a lot of English-speaking people will think in Spanish or, like, French or... La... Lanar... <laughs> and Renel. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So then we do that to get there. Is there a hole here that we can... I don't think we do this, but... Oh, it's... Yeah, exactly, Cooper. Like, English uses a lot of other languages. Kind of, like, language of all language in a sense. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything down here. Might be a Jinjo. Okay, before I start kind of doing silly things and really exploring, let's actually... You know, because we might just easily be able to 100% this without, like... Doing, like, crazy stuff and really, like, looking around. We don't want to go out. Oh, I guess I just played through DK64, which has, like, obviously almost the same movement. Oh, it really sucks that my DK64 randomizer stream, it just didn't end up saving. I would have liked to finish that. Because I got really far, too. I only had, like, two levels left. It probably only would have taken me, like, four or five hours to complete. Finish it off. Alright, so this should be gold feathers. Oh, I remember in the randomizer, I didn't have, like, the move yet, so I had to, like, do it without the gold feathers. I think I ended up dying in this. Am I gonna play Valky? What's Valky 64 again, Litronom? This move made raids as a shield against... Cool doesn't make me invulnerable. 
Sure does. Hold Z and press right. All right. Um, take these five. Two. All right. Oh. All right. Simple enough. Yeah, exactly, the Fawful. British and America people say stuff different. And then Canada's a weird mix of like British and America too. Oh, that's cool, Litronom. I think if I was gonna play one of those, it'd definitely be Cavern of Dreams. But if I like Cavern of Dreams a lot, then I definitely consider it like Valky 64 too. Um I think... Did I... I came from that tunnel, right? Yeah, I think I can just leave here. Yeah, no, when I was doing the randomizer, man, I just had to do it without, and... I, I did it, but... Oh yeah, there's the Jinjo, I was right. thought there was something in one of these rooms. Okay, so probably just like one other area and we'll be done. Be good if I got both the honeycomb pieces. I think I did. Oh yeah, chips. Guys. Oh. Oh no, we're good. We have in here that we haven't been to, which we might have. This might just be another way to enter the main area. I don't... Oh no, this is different. Alright, here we go. That's it. Okay, do we have both honeycomb pieces? That is the question. And the answer is no. Wait, why do we have eight? Wait. Oh no, we have 18 jiggies because we have to put some down. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um. So the other honeycomb. It's going to be in a tunnel, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'll probably just miss one tunnel. Uh, which tunnel did I not do? I 1 million did that, 1 million did that. Those two green ones I think I did. That one I did, wait. Um, there is one that's like, I think I got this one though, there's like, one over here that's uh... It's like down that chute I think. Oh wait, no, it might be... Like, this area specifically... Hmm... If I go, like, boom... Up here... Come on. I mean, I, I could have made it with that. I think I got this one already, though. Oh, this might even just be a Jinjo, even. Yeah. Uh, it's probably a pipe underwater. Oh, 
Yeah, I'll screw around a little bit more. Like, maybe... No, oh, it's not gonna be there. There's a chance it's in here. Because I went to the one that's uh, parallel to this. And I might have got these confused. No. Um. Vertical pipe. Oh yeah, it's this. It's, it's in here. 100%. Okay. That's it. Ooh. That's a tricky one. Yeah. Hey, okay, sweet. Um. Oh yeah, we'll we'll just go back. I could I could save and quit and probably technically be faster, but there's some thinking. What forty minutes we were on the level? Thirty-five. All right. I think good timing. It'd be cool if we could do every level under an hour, but knowing me, I probably won't be able to just because the click, click clock woods and Rusty Bucket Bay are huge. So, yeah. Bubble Goop Swamp, which probably has the coolest thing in this entire game. Which, no, the video I'm working on right now is part 2 of my Mario 64 ROM hack tier list, and it's almost done. I think I'll probably finish it tonight. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. I was gonna finish it today, but then this game came out. I was like, alright. I guess I probably still will finish it today. Yeah, I guess we're just pretty much good to go for Bubble Goop here. But oh, we could probably just easily kind of ponytail twirl here, too. Alright, so... Yeah, it should just be... Yeah, in here. We already did the picture. And then... I thought there was, like, a mumbo token. Or no. The boots are in the other one, and then yeah, they're there. All right. Um, do I have to break something in there first? Uh, let's assume that we don't. That it will just be open. Alright, so are you guys ready for something super cool here? Keep your eye okay, check this out. Ah. Uh, don't enter. Find Mr. Oops, Mr. Bottles. Anyways. Can't use this until you found out how. Yeah. Yummy crocked this like this. Look at light, you're gonna see probably the most impressive thing in this entire mod right away. This part's super, super cool. I saw a preview of this, or Seo Hani was like showing this on their channel. Okay, and I just need to find the bottles. I thought he was there, but I guess. Well, oh, actually, no, he's by the maze. Wait, I wonder if I can... I might be able to just totally cheese this. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Easy. Right behind the entrance? Alright. 
I'll go back. For some reason I thought he was by the maze, but yeah. yeah I would have figured that out later, but yeah, might as well. Everyone here wants to see that cool thing. Oh, I wonder like how much stuff you could break with the game with uh, this new move. Like if you gave this move to a speedrunner and just seeing like the new techniques and tactics. It would be abs like I'm sure this will never happen. But if this became like a game to speedrun, you know, like, oh, let's speedrun Banjo-Kazooie 2D's adventure. And you could see like the new techniques that this move can like let you do. But I think that's a fever dream, you know, that's probably ain't gonna happen. But, yeah, 2D percent, just to see how much faster. Oh wow, Bottles is way back here. That seems, I don't know, I totally forgot about that. I think the randomizer has random Bottles molehills too. It's an transformation machine to get to the beast mode. Use it so you can safely go through areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, for some reason I have bad memories about this. Great, now you know all of the swamp's new moves. Alright, you guys ready for this? Yeah, Legend Nom, the music in this game is just incredible. Like, Grant Kirkhope did obviously a great job. You guys ready for the transformation machine? Like, isn't that cool? Turn 2D into a beast. I think that's the coolest thing of this entire ROM hack. And like, obviously, like the animations work really well. Very clever, you know. Uh. There we go. Yeah, you skip these notes. Like, I wonder if uh, Nintendo made this mode, if they would consider doing something like this, or if this would be a little bit too taboo. Make this be in, like, her arsenal, but... Alright, there we go. Look at all the moves here. Then I guess after this we got Freezy Z Peak and uh, Obi's Valley. Like we're pretty much like halfway down the game. Really think of. All right. All right, there we go. I thought maybe there was a hit box issue there. Like there probably was to an extent. Yeah, I'm sure of it too, just ate someone's dream. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that, like, video games haven't really progressed in the past, like, 10 years much. So, like, if you look at NES to Super Nintendo or Super Nintendo to Nintendo 64, like, the new game systems, they were exciting. You had more buttons, different controllers, whole new styles of games could be coming out. And now it's just like, if you look at an Xbox One to an Xbox One X, it's like they're barely different. Um, our golden, but she'll never be us all. Wait, are these guys always like this? This seems different to me. This seems custom, like, I could totally be wrong. I don't remember this. Especially yellow frogs. Or is this just totally vanilla? Looks normal? Okay, it probably is normal. It's been a while since I played this game, so... If I see anything I'm unfamiliar with, it's kind of like... Oh yeah, alright. It's normal? Okay. The thing about vanilla edits, you know, it's like... You never know if it's, uh... 
they're questioning the original game at that point. It's like, there's this ROM hack for Super Mario World. It's called Super Mario World Remade from Memory. I want to play that because that will kind of be like the crux of it. Like, is this different? Is this how it's always been? But I think I, I'll play through that ROM hack and like barely notice any difference. I might include that on my next poll. My next poll might be Cavern of Dreams, or Mario World, but it's remade from memory. Those would be like the two games. Because I think that'd be fun. Just playing through Mario World again. It's just slightly different, and it's like a huge community effort, that hack. Like, different people in the community took on different levels and stuff. And it's like really well done, Mario World, but it's remade from memory. It's just, I don't know Mario World that well, so like, I might not be the perfect person to play that game, but it might make it better, because I'm not even going to notice any difference. I can go through the entire game and be like, I didn't notice anything. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, make it pull with Cavern of Dreams being the only option. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that height is insane. I do like it though, like that's one of my favorite things about this mod is that one specific move. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, spring jump plus helicopter, yeah, pretty OP. They're very cool though. Alright, uh... Yeah, let's do... Wait, what? Okay, pit box. Let's do Tip Tup's Choir here. Uh, we should be fine if we just... Yeah, yeah we didn't really take any damage. Oh, okay. I didn't even mean to grab that. The hitbox is kind of... Is there a way to end these early? I don't think there is. There we go. Oh no. No, this is tip top, right? I can shoot his beast too. Oh, that's cool, Seohani. I'm assuming just with like B up and R. Alright. C P R. Alright, some C P R here. Okay, so we got Y E B Y E. Uh, okay, I need a better. There's two purples. Y P B. Double purple blue. Double purple blue. Alright, one more lesson. Purple, red, purple, red, purple, cyan, blue. Purple, red, purple, red. <laughs> purple, red, purple, red. Cyan, purple, blue? Nope. 
Purple, red, purple, red. We will... Okay. Purple, red. Purple, red. Pink, Diane, blue. Oh, okay. <sighs> purple. Yeah, not a game for colorblind people. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. Honeycomb piece here. Oh! I, I don't know, I have a feeling that this game might not be 100% completable somewhere. We'll see, though. It probably will be. Like, 2D's not that much different. And obviously we have more mobility because of our ponytail twirl, so it should be completely 100%able, but... I just have this villain. Yeah, the violet might probably be easier. Um... Nope. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to be. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we pretty much just have Maze area and Crocodile. Might be pretty much good for this level, too. And also. No, we're not going to touch that. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. All right, yeah. So that's my tip top. So actually, no. We let's get that first because there's one that's like way over here. I think. Yeah, we'll get the tip top one really quick. The Banjo Kazooie movie? Um. Okay, this might be a downer thing to say. I don't think Banjo Kazooie is popular enough for its own movie, to be honest. Like, obviously, I love Banjo and Kazooie and everything, but I think to the general population, it's. I think it's a little bit too niche to ever get their own movie. I guess let's just go over there. Oh, shit. I'm failing this in like every- No, don't you dare do this to me, Fly. Yeah. What about a Pac-Man movie? Uh, I mean, Pac-Man kinda had a movie. Remember that Adam Sandler movie that he was in? I guess it wasn't really a Pac-Man movie. Dots or whatever? There we go, finally. <laughs> Pixels, yeah. <laughs> Not dots. <laughs> yeah, the movie Dots. <laughs> yeah, the movie Pixels. I know Pixels, it's like... Me being like a huge video game fan, I was not excited for Pixels. I thought it was almost like cringy, you know? But like the Mario movie was really good. I enjoyed that a lot, but... Yeah, I don't know, Pixels... Like, it wasn't like a horrible movie by any means, but like... 
It was just such like an Adam Sandler. Who's that other guy? The guy that's the mall cop. Not his. His name's not Kevin Blair, maybe. Who is like the star of King of Queens? Kevin James. Yeah, that's that's it. Kevin James. But. Oh, it did predict Billy Mitchell being te cheater. I did not know that. I'm kind of over the Billy Mitchell stuff now. Like, it was interesting at first, but, like, now it's, like... There's, like, 20 different videos about how he's a cheater now, and it's, like, I get it. Like, I don't need to watch, like, seven hours of content for me to understand that this guy cheated, you know? There's all those lawsuits with him now, too, and I'm just kind of over the whole Billy Mitchell thing. Oh no. Okay, let's just go back. The hitbox is gonna be really weird. And like, there's a part of me where people have been crapping on Billy Mitchell so much. I'm almost like, I'm not rooting for him by any means. Like, he's like, obviously really negative towards the whole community. But there's like a small part of me that's like, I kind of want to hear his side of the story now, you know? Like, I don't think he's right by any means, but, uh... We have never really heard him talk candidly about it, you know? But... Okay, let's just go back, I don't want to die. If I did it by Billy Mitchell, yeah, hour of math. <laughs> That's honestly so funny. If I did it by Billy Mitchell, if I did it, I went flat. <laughs> oh. If I did, I use different machines with different balls on the joysticks, and <laughs> I'll go to Twin Galaxies and lie. <laughs> Oh, that's great. If I did it by Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Alright. That was on me. Bucks to suck, I guess. Wait, I wonder. Could I? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I did that on purpose. And I did that on purpose, too, to show you how powerful the ponytail twirl is. Yeah. Thank you, Litronome. I'm glad everybody in chat understands I did that on purpose and it wasn't a skill issue, so... I just have no excuse. Okay, now I'm gonna go talk to Bottles. Like, I do not want to die. And two health is not a good amount of health last time I checked, so... We're gonna go back. Because, yeah... It's not gonna take that long. That's one thing I've learned about this game, is like, most likely I'd be fine. But, like, just because you'll probably be fine doesn't mean you should trust yourself, you know? It'll just be so much safer if I get this. 
Oh no, bottles. Give me my health back. No, you're not going to? Okay, I guess it's only when you're learning a move. Shoot. Oh, we have this anyway, so it doesn't... Yeah. I don't know why it has that sound effect there, but... It's like, I could heal you right now, but I'm not going to. I see that you're struggling and about to die, but I'm just gonna watch you. I have the ability to heal you, but let's just not. I only heal you when I'm teaching you moves. Um... Alright, this time we got it. I don't know how I'm struggling with this so much. Maybe because it's a very small platform with a very unforgiving time limit with a character that controls poorly, but... At least we can do this, though. Let's easily make it here. will be okay. There we go. Alright, and this level's like, we're pretty much done. I forgot how fast you can just kind of fly through the original Banjo-Kazooie if you know what you're doing. Okay, let's... I hate these hitboxes. Really? I think- oh, I have to jump, that's why. They're a little bit in the air. Little explosive werewolf. Yeah, no, it's really cool to see 2D in here. Alright, I think we're just gonna transform. Knowing me, I'm probably missing a honeycomb piece somewhere. I think I know where it is, too. Uh, shit. Oh, whatever. I'm pretty sure the honeycomb piece is on a... Whatchamacallit? It's on, like, a lily... Not lily, but, like, a plant, I guess I'll call it. Or is it in Mumbo? Hopefully honeycomb piece is here. Oh, there it is. Alright, we're good. It's not on a lily or whatever. Or, what's it called? You know the plants that I, like, crawl on or, like, climb up? Like, the white... They're, like, the white poles, but they're plants. What's it called? A, a cattail. Yeah, that's it. I would have never gotten that. I totally forgot that those are called cattails. Yeah, no, it, it's a cattail for sure. I would have thought it was out on top of a cattail. Alright, so I think we're going to be good just 100% this level now. I don't think I'm going to be missing anything. Oh, there's a... Oh! Do we have all the Jinjos? No, we don't. Okay, and yeah, we're not gonna be- yeah, so we're gonna have to transform back. And then transform again, because we're gonna have to e exit as this guy. Okay. Um, alright, I think we can just do this game. Hopefully, I get it. I think it should just be- oh, what's that? What? That's not- Normal, I think. Maybe that stock. Everyone in the chat's gonna be like, "Oh, that's actually, that's actually normal." But uh. shoot, I don't have the turbo trainers. Um, can I do this without turbo trainers? 
not like vanilla. Or maybe we don't need to get the ability turbo trainers to get the turbo trainers in this. Nope. Um. That's kind of hard. Okay, maybe we just come back later then. Oh no. Uh. Okay, I'm falling behind here. No. You know, I'll have it this time. Yeah, I just stay in front of him, yeah. I really thought I had, I started reading chat, I just kind of got cocky there. I thought I had it, I thought I'd, uh... Because the first one isn't hard, it's the second one. Come on. Okay, he's just like closer to all of them. There we go. I think this round's actually, like, probably the easiest. Maybe. Oh. Um. Oh, I forgot how long these rounds are. <laughs> Sweet, still got it. Okay. No, why? Okay, if you stay in front. No. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to really catch up here. Might be a little bit of rubber banding here too, it almost looks like. Eight. Red. Um. Yellow. Oh, shoot. No. No! <laughs> okay, no, I, I totally screwed this. Try to shoot? Um... I don't know if it saved my progress. I was trying to avoid them. Hopefully I don't have to redo everything. Eat 
Come on, come. But oh. Okay, it does save. Okay, cool. Because I think you might do two, two every time. Static jump scare, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, we'll just kind of go around, get more health, and we'll come back. Yeah, it's not like that bad. Oh yeah, I'm back after the diggy. Okay, we're still missing a lot. I'm thinking, yeah, if we just go on the X, X skirts here, we can just get these. And then, uh... There's a couple gingos that we need. Oh, I guess in that one area there's gonna be a lot of notes. Maybe. Yeah, I could come back after the shoes, but I think I should be able to get it. Like, I'm like 50% confident, so I don't want to risk my life with it when I have this many notes. So. I'm gonna go around it. The... Yeah, I'll just get all the notes that are like kind of in the water here. This area already? No, 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 I didn't. Uh, okay, it doesn't really seem like there's anything here, unless the draw distance is really bad, and I'm being silly, but. Yeah, I could come back when I got the turbo trainers, but I kind of just want to get it done. I think I should be able to. I know that one, I just had a really bad start there. No, I'll try shooting old transform next time do a while. Well, like, thing is though, if I try that, I'm gonna be wasting a bunch of time doing it. I should try it though for sure to see what happens. Token. Hopefully that guy doesn't mess with us. It'd be really bad. Alright, 97. Uh, yeah, I think we gotta transform back, and it's gonna be on a cattail or something like that. Um, yeah, we've looked almost everywhere, unless it's like. We didn't really check the starting area much, but I don't think it's going to be over here. Yeah, wait, I definitely need honeycombs, but it's like... I don't know where they're at. Yeah, I do not like where I'm at right now. <laughs> Okay, three more notes. I really think it's just gonna be a cattail thing, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure I went over here, right? Yeah, I must have. I think this is the first area I really explored. Yeah, now I'm just kind of questioning it though, since we're missing three notes. Well, that's cool, Serious. There's a chat folder for fan funding. Kind of weird that it's only iPad. Well, it's probably just... Oh, here we go. Wait. I can break this, right? Okay, uh, let's just get this minigame done, then. I didn't know that that was there.
Okay. I don't think it's gonna do anything in the game. But oh, no, I want to try. Yeah. Oh no, I did the skip, so I'm gonna have to go back and in. Alright, there we go. Yeah. When I exit the level, I think I might have to break, like, some ice before I go, but I could, could totally be wrong. Oh, no, I have to redo everything. That was a lie. Shoot. Oh, no. I should have just waited for Turbo Trainers. Oh, well, now I'm already in here. Shoot, oh, that really sucks. Um. Or else I, ah. Uh. This minigame, like, isn't, like, that hard, it's just... The fact that you lose health when you're doing it, so you only get like a couple tries. No. No! Okay, there we go. It saves if you don't leave after the bite. Yeah, it saves if yeah if you don't leave. Yeah, that's that's what I was th wondering. But all good. Oh, those are the turbo trainers at the top of my screen. There, they're just yeah retextured. Okay, that's what that is. No. Yes! Okay, wow, that was really close. There we go. So yeah, those are just what the turbo trainers look like. Oh, it's like a weird... Weird orb. Okay, cool. Nope. If greeny not... Yeah, I have to make sure to press no. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I think that's... It's honestly, I think uh, there's some rubber banding there, so doing it without speed shoes, it's, it's not that bad. 
Okay, so now last three notes, which I'm hoping are just on a cat on a cattail. Okay, how are you doing for time? Hopefully, I feel like I've been on this level for a while now. A uh, 41. Oh, we can probably finish this in like four minutes, so it's not that bad. If I can do every level under an hour, I'd be happy. But no, the Clark Woods though. That, that's so massive. It's like four levels in one almost. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Be right back. So, I think we pretty much just need... Okay, three notes and the Jinjo. I was kind of banking they're both on cattails. Because that's one area, those are one thing I haven't really explored. type of notes that we want. That's kind of what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, it's kind of funny. She, like, kind of sounds like Tiny, but I think this character is more inspired by DixieCon. Johan is saying. Um, this area... hasn't overly been explored. Yeah, there we go. Cattail. Oh, wow. I called it. Yeah. <laughs> I totally called that. Oh. I did not think the cattails were going to be that close to each other, to be honest. So that... Exactly, being creative. Ponytails and helicopter gliding. So, I think that's it, right? We're good. Alright. Cleaned up. I mean, that level wasn't that bad. I'd say about, like... I mean, I failed the crocodile thing, which wasted about four minutes. And I failed that jump a couple times, but, like, it wasn't too bad, though. No mistakes were like that major. I'm happy. De no deaths. As long as I don't 
die at all this entire run, I'll be okay. I know this isn't a speed run, but... <laughs> I like how she kind of does a backflip when she jumps. Or right, does she? No, she doesn't go all the way. That's almost more impressive. Changes directions halfway through the back jump. Okay. I think there is a piece of ice I gotta break here. If not, I'll go just go back in and transform, but uh, I swear there's a piece of ice here I gotta break. Oh, wait. Um, maybe we might have been able to break the kit. Okay, one, I'm not even sure if there is ice here, but two, we might have been able to do it with uh, our egg ability while we're like transformed. Wait, are there boots? Like, no. The croc bite can break. Oh, it can. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the crocodile can't activate this. So I'm um, just trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> Oh, it can't break it. Okay, yeah, it's a buried kit. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking, so I did this in the right order. So, I wonder, could we... Oh, we... Rock... Or no, it doesn't! Oh no, there's something up here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how we get back. Yeah, no, I definitely game on Steam a bit. Like, the only game I really played, I played a little bit of TF2 for Scream Fortress. But I only got, like, two contracts done. Like, the only Halloween map I really like is Blood Water, but that's because it's just bad water. Oh, thank you, Litronom. I appreciate it. I will check out my Steam after this. Yeah, because for those of you who don't know, Litronom makes Mario Kart hacks, but they also make TF2 mods, too. Like, they put pretty much the entirety of Ocarina of Time in Team Fortress 2. I don't know why I'm grabbing these. And I don't know why I did that, but yeah, let's actually break this. Um. Everyone's wondering what game it is now. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just transform really quick, and then we should be good. Great. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to running out of. I'm starting to run out of video ideas here. Like, uh, videos will probably really start slowing down because almost every video I've wanted to make, I've make, I've made so far. So it's kind of like I got the ROM hack tier list, and after that, I'm gonna be almost like out of ideas for a bit. It's more going to be like waiting for new games to come out and streaming them or making videos on them depending on the length. Like for me, if a game takes me over an hour to beat, I'll stream it. If a game takes me under an hour to beat, then I'll make a video on it, you know? So I think that's going to be mainly my channel for a bit here, unless I have some sort of like eureka idea or some like epiphany day where I'm like, oh, I could do this for my channel, but... I think for the time being, after this uh, ROM hack tier list part 2 video that I'm going to be releasing, it's going to be just playing the new hacks that are coming out. Like, exclusively. And I'm like caught up with all the old ones I want to play now. No, I want to wait for version 1.0 of Amped Up Litronom, because right now, what is it, 9 points, like 0.97, right? Or something like that. But no, once... Uh, Amped up like 1.0 releases, I'll I'll definitely play it. Because right now I think it'd be kind of silly for me to play like 
0 0.97. I'd rather I'd rather just wait until like 1.0 releases. So that's where I'm at with uh, amped up. If you're wondering, Litronom. Because even there's another game I want to play. It's called Banjo Kazooie and the Forgotten Mascots. Um, uh, it just came out with a demo, but the demo is like the game done like 80%. It has all but the last world. And I'm like, well, like, what's the point of me playing this demo when if I just wait like six months or a year, the full game will be released. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like, like I'll definitely play some demos. Like, I'm not against playing demos by any means, but uh, if it's to the point where if I wait an extra four months, I can kind of have a more, a better video on the subject with the complete game. I'll just wait that time. All right, what's your idea, serious? Yeah, any any ideas for videos? Let me know in chat, guys, because I am um, I'm running out of ideas here. Yeah, I would definitely do that, serious. A channel member's TF2 stream would be great. People would be interested in that. The thing is, though, I think channel members would probably just prefer if I played like another Drinking Conquers stream or like uh, something 64 related, you know. But if the channel members want a TF2 stream, I'd obviously be down for that. But I think I could, if I was doing a members only, I'd probably do something like more special that people would like more. Yeah, that'd be awesome series, just to play some TF2. Like all the members could be in a lobby or whatever with voice chat or something, yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. If you play TF2 serious, I should just get your uh, Steam account and play sometime. Because, yeah, that's like one of the few games that, uh, or multiplayer games that I play. Yeah, I know, like, when I play TF2, I might just start streaming it to channel members then, just see. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Serious. Oh, shoot. I was not paying attention. What is this? Code is Pink Melody. Yeah. Pink Melody. Thank you, Mantis. Azuli. I appreciate it. We should probably just do all the codes at once. I'll copy and paste this so I'll remember it later. Like doing the codes one of the one at a time is kinda of silly. Oh uh, wait, what the heck? All right. Yeah, next up, freeze easy peak. Kind of crazy to think. Some people probably played through the entire game and just didn't get a single Cheeto page or like didn't realize that that was there. Zelda Helix Blade. Yeah, that's a really cool mod. Isn't that one huge though? Isn't that mod like a six hour hack? And another reason why I'm kind of reluctant to play Zelda mods is because a lot of the mods kind of assume that, like, you're a speedrunner and, like, you know the game super well. I know I've played the randomizer a bit and I do know it somewhat well, but, uh, it depends on the difficulty of the Zelda mod. If the Zelda mod is meant for a casual player, I'll obviously be good with it, but a lot of the times the mods are meant for, like, people that know the game super, super well. It's, oh, it's still a demo. I remember when I was playing, uh, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> when I was playing, uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask combined, like, in Majora's Mask, like, chat was, like, all happy with me, like, oh, this guy knows how to play, then whenever I got to Ocarina of Time, everyone was just kind of like, wow, this guy's bad, <laughs> like, he doesn't know what's going <laughs> Wait, I hit the switch, right? Uh, let's do again. Um, it's probably in this area. I think the freezy's that one. What's that switch do? <laughs> Thank you. 
Because we definitely hit the switch in Bubble Goop Swamp, right? Yeah. Yeah, just use the hair to hit the monkey. Serious. Uh. Or did I just grab the jiggy already that was there? These switches kind of remind me of the switches from Glover a little bit. Um... Yeah, I get the Gobi painting. Um... Yeah, I can get the running shoes quicker, yeah, and then just... Backtrack that way. Oh no, that's what it was. Okay. I answered my own question. Yeah, made it so that we can get that. Okay, I'm good. I was really concerned. I'm like, what did the bubble goop switch did? I thought it opened that gate, but no, you fall in. I was about to be like, someone in chat, tell, tell me what the bubble goop swamp did, because I thought I had to do with that jiggy. But alright, we're good. So, yeah, I'll probably just grab running shoes and then just go straight to freeze easy. Oh, uh, maybe we have to activate the picture first. I'll put the picture away. Oh no, that's, uh, I think that other until to switch. Yeah, 2D's like Tiny Kong Fat. Yeah, they are pretty similar. One thing I'm really looking forward to is when uh, DK64 is completely decompiled. I can make videos like the DK64 intro, but uh, or the DK rap, but everyone's like 2D or like banjo and stuff. Being able to like swap models between games and stuff. I always- I never use these ding pots. Okay, so that's actually a decent warp. Um... I mean, let's just not open that until later, because obviously... I don't think- our is Gobi's value there? Um, it might actually be. No, so that's 450. Yeah, I actually think always value is through there, actually. Yeah, no. It'll be really cool once it's finally decompiled. De Looking forward to that for sure. So yeah, like the Mario 64 decompilation, I didn't realize how important it was until I made that ROM hacking history video. And I was like, wow, like the reason why all this stuff is possible is like purely because of decomp. I'm like, hardly anybody uses ROM manager anymore and I just didn't really understand that when I started making that video, just how important decomp can be for like mod modifying games. But it's just like a group of collective effort, like to decompile a game, I'm making up this number, but like, it must be at least like 500 hours of work to like decompile Mario 64. Like maybe it's less, maybe it's easier than I'm thinking of and there's like... But uh... I don't know, I don't even understand like how you would even go to that. You take the assembly language to be like, okay, this line of code, convert it to C. This line, convert it to C sort of thing. And like, could we get to a point where maybe like a chat GPT or AI could just decompile a whole game? You know? But, like... Because that might be a thing in like 10, 20 years. You could just be like, hey, can you decompile this game and like AI could do it all? Maybe. Much more than 500? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. Like, I understand decomp, but at the same time, I really don't understand it, you know? Here again. Yeah, this is mad monster. 
just match code, that's it. Like, you'd think that, like, an AI would be able to do that, like, sometime in the next 20, 30 years. I don't know what I was saying. Like, I think there'd be a point where you could be like, AI, make me a ROM hacker Mario 64, and it compiles, like, you know, make its own ROM hack or something. Because I think we'll get there, like, it might take 200 years. I'm not saying this is going to be happening anytime soon, but, uh... Yeah, there's a possibility that that could happen. I'm underestimating AI. <laughs> I like, very well could be. Uh. Oof. Oh yeah, no, this is the door. How to convert? Yeah, not the entire game right now, but I think that's one thing. Like AI is going to become like a, like a big thing when it comes to modding in the next like five ten years. I know, like. Plaza uses it a bit now, and like other people do use AI a little bit for modding and stuff, but uh, it's like not really that important right now. Like it's like very small things. Alright, so we are just gonna go grab running shoes and leave. I think that's the smart thing to do. Because if I remember right, the bottles is just on this hill right here. Yeah, that was too freezy. Yeah, I don't overly want to backtrack. And I think he's just like over here on this hill. Wait, or no, do we learn the beak? No, we learn running shoes here. Or do we learn beak bomb and he's over here? Um. All right, thank you for tuning in, Litronom. Have a great, great rest of your evening there. Wait, is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, I, I knew he was there. It's just, I question myself too much sometimes. Use it to get the wind braids. I ran really fast for a bit of time. All right. Hmm. Benji, a little low, fill it up. All right, nice. All right now, I'll just go to freeze easy here. But yeah, we're what? I guess four levels away. We've done four, so we have halfway. But these levels are obviously a lot longer. It'll be a lot harder. Oh yeah, I guess we'll take this. I know we don't really need it, but we might as well. Yeah, four note record, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that works. No, this animation is still like it works, it's cool. I appreciate it, but that kinda of throws me off a little bit. Oh no, I guess we got Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Bucket Bay. No, we have like five levels left, actually. You got another new move waiting for you. Yeah, the big barge or whatever. No, I don't think it's called that. The... Uh, what's the proper... I mean, it's going to be a different name anyways here. Maybe it is called the Beak Barge, I don't know. Okay, we'll go there after we grab the presents. Oh. Um, Beauty and Polar Bear Race, yeah, that'll be cool. Before we see how that is. 
I wonder, like, there might be a way for Tootie to glitch out to get the ice key. Probably not, though. But... Yeah, that's uh, the talent trot for her. Let's do this mission. Okay. I was dreaming about this mission last night. I, I swear. I had a dream about this mission last night. Or this, this mission was in my head or I was dreaming about it or something like... Oh wow, I probably- oh no, I probably didn't mess it up. They're pretty forgiving. Yeah, I randomized her bogey flashbacks. Oh, that was bad. For those of you that don't know, it took me, I think, 160 tries to beat the race. It took me two hours to beat the boggy race when I was doing randomizer. I just got a really bad seed where it was like, it was pretty, well, it wasn't impossible I did it, but it was like near impossible. It took me over 100 tries to beat the race. I ended up changing the stream name to like trying to beat the boggy race for like... <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty good world. I made a video on my channel a while back called Snow Levels versus Desert Levels for Nintendo 64 games. And I made this video probably like five years ago. And uh, this went up against... Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll ask chat. Should I do a reaction to that Snow versus Desert Levels video right now? It's like five, six years old. It's- the video's like five minutes. I go through like, Angry Aztec and uh... Crystal Caves this level. Or why not? Yeah, we'll, we'll sidetrack this stream a little bit. Do it? Alright. This is an old video, but uh... I kind of forgot about this video. Alright, I'll pause. Oh, yeah. I just have to... Snow versus desert levels. Oh yeah, here we go. This is an old video, four years ago. Alright. Check it out really quick. Now we're, we're sidetracking. Um... Yeah. Oh, and then if I go display capture, there we go, we're good. And then I think everything should be fine. So, oh, it's 14 minutes. The Nintendo 64 has some of the most colorful and iconic levels in video game history. And throughout its impressive library of games, many, many themes have been covered. From levels based around clocks, to levels based around literal sh**. But today, we're going to be looking at snow levels versus desert levels. When I think about my favorite Nintendo 64 game levels, I always think about a bunch of great desert levels and a bunch of great snow levels. And it's crazy how many of these games cover both these themes. So today, we're going to look at five of my favorite childhood Nintendo 64 yeah. games that feature... At 1.25 to speed almost just sounds normal. I think my pacing was a little bit slower back then. I think I got better pacing now. But well, it might be just as bad, but... ...and the snow level. We'll look at the snow and the desert level in that game, and I'll give a point to my favorite, and that will go towards that level type. Yeah. This is all personal opinion. This isn't a definitive list. So, so if you disagree with any one of my picks, that's totally okay. First game we're going to be looking at is Super Mario 64. Mario 64 has two snow levels, Cool Cool Mountain and Snowman's Land. So... Kind of weird to think about two snow levels. Like, what other game has two snow levels? Like... Not many. I can't really think of another 64 game that has two snow levels on top of my head. Um, yeah, like Mario currently has the one. I'm gonna pick my favorite of the two to face the desert level, Shifting Sandland. And out of those two, I'm gonna pick Cool Cool Mountain. Cool Cool Mountain is an awesome level that's main gimmick isn't snow. I'd say its main gimmick is sliding. Yeah, that, that's true. Here, we'll do multiple pulls here. Yeah, like, the main gimmick in Cool Mountain, like, it is sliding. It's a super fun slide that you can go down, and you get to face this penguin down the slide, too. But that's not even exactly what I'm referring to. You can pretty much slide down this entire stage. 
Mario 64 has a super impressive slide mechanic that I don't think many people really appreciate. If you take a game like Banjo-Kazooie, for instance, and put Banjo-Kazooie down a slide, you'll see how different it is. Yeah, because this is a mod I made, Banjo-Kazooie and Super Mario 64. And when I was making this mod, I realized, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie doesn't have a sliding mechanic. Like, Banjo can't slide. So it's like, I don't know, it really shows that the sliding mechanic in Mario 64 is like far superior to Banjo-Kazooie's. But like, Banjo-Kazooie doesn't have any slides, so it doesn't need one. The way Mario gains momentum when he's sliding, and you still feel like you have solid control over him, makes these slide levels really fun. And to have an entire level that you can slide down is a super cool concept. Could you imagine if a level like Hazy Maze Cave was made like a slide? <laughs> That's another mod that I made there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole video, I'm like, let, let's see how many mods that I've made myself I can throw in. Oh. Remember being a kid and getting to this point in Cool Cool Mountain and just thinking, how am I supposed to get up here? And then the game taught you how to wall jump for the first time. And it changed your experience for the rest of the game. Overall, I really like Cool Cool Mountain. Yeah, now for Shifting Sandland. Shifting Sandland is a very cool level. I think one of the coolest features about it is there's a bunch of sinking sand in the level. There oh is shoot, super fun I didn't mean to do that. That is until you get a Koopa Shell from Cool Cool Mountain. And just thinking, how am I supposed to get up here? And then the game taught you how to wall jump for the first time. And it changed your experience for the rest of the game. Overall, I really like Cool Cool Mountain. Yeah, no, not many games have two sliding levels. Or... Now for Shifting Sandland. Shifting Sandland is a very cool level. I think one of the coolest features about it is there's a bunch of sinking sand in the level, which is an automatic death. And moving around the level can be frustrating. That is, until you get a Koopa Shell. When you get this Koopa Shell, you're able to ride on all the sinking sand that would kill you in one hit. And it makes the level extremely fun. This stage also has a wing cap, which is honestly one of the funnest stages to use the wing cap with. You know, this video specifically, like if this video did well in the algorithm, I would have made this into a series. I would have been like haunted levels versus swamp levels and just like, you know, like this was a series I was kind of planning on, but this video, like it didn't perform the best. So I was like, all right, this will just kind of be a one-off video. You could use the wing cap to fly but, to the top of the pyramid. You could anyways, I'll, to I'll just skip to the Banjo-Kazooie part. You can use the wing cap. We don't have to watch the whole Next thing. Next game we're going to be looking at is Banjo Kazooie. With Banjo Kazooie, we have Free Easy Peak and Gobi's Valley. And what's really cool about these two levels is that you unlock them both at the same time, so you have a choice of which one to go to. These two levels also feel kind of connected because there's a backtrack gimmick in the game. In Free Easy Peak, you learn how to fly. <laughs> yeah, I was saying Free Easy. I never had a Z in there <laughs> instead of Freeze Easy. I don't know why I said free easy. Like, there wasn't a single Z. So, uh, if you look at the comments, it's like... Uh... Free easy peak. Freeze easy peak. Freeze easy peak. <laughs> oh. Like, the most... Most liked comment, too. Oh, it's funny. But... I didn't notice it, but now that I'm watching it again, yeah, I don't have a single Z in there. It's just free easy. Like, there's, like, no Z and you need to learn how to fly to beat Gobi's Valley. But in Gobi's Valley, you learn how to use the running shoes, which you need for Free Easy Peak. <laughs> Free Easy Peak is a great level that contains multiple races, really good music, a couple cool sub areas, yeah. and it contains the- Not a Z to be he heard there, just Free Easy Peak. The Mist Ice Key. Also, it has a transformation by Mumbo to transform into a walrus. Gobi's Valley, on the other hand, Contains multiple pyramids with sub areas, some cool flight pads, a really fun side quest with a camel. It also contains this really great Egyptian sounding song. Although both these levels are really good, I'm gonna have to give this one to Free Easy Peak. Free Easy Peak has a transformation <laughs> that Gobi's Valley does. I don't know why he said it like that. I just found getting all 100 notes Free in Gobi's Easy Valley Peak. to be very frustrating. Oh. And some of the sub areas just kind of feel tedious, especially with repeat playthroughs. The next game we're going to be looking at is Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, so that's for DK. I think I gave this, yeah, I gave it to Aztec. Bananas to collect that art and I went. Appreciate it. And yeah. I hope you guys all have a fan. Yeah, so it went, uh... Yeah, so Cool Cool Mountain. Freeze Easy Peak. <laughs> for Banjo-Kazooie and Chili Water, so... But something that somebody mentioned was... 
I gave it to the easier level in every case. Cool, cool mountain comes before angry Aztec. You know, these two levels come before. Oh, I guess there is two, two winter levels in Mario Kart. You know, I guess these are the same time. But Aztec comes before Crystal. And I guess Chilly Waters and that. But yeah, I usually gave it to the easier level, but I don't know. Anyways, I'll, I'll go back to the game. That was that was my little sidetrack there. I won't watch the whole video, but uh, that was a video that I enjoyed making. That's a fun one for sure. Um, all right. Oh wait, no. I turned this volume up. I'll turn it back down. All right, we're good. Pretty easy peak. Yeah, the best level. No, at the time, I didn't think I was pronouncing it that weird, but looking back, wow, that was a bad pronunciation. Or no, I already hit the switch, and I need to... I think that made the star appear or whatever. Pretty easy peek. <laughs> Not a single Z pronounced that entire time. Uh oh, it's too good. Oh yeah, I think we need to go through it like three times, right? Rule of threes. Might have been easier with Beak Barge, but... I feel like I should just keep calling it Free Beak now. Oh. Jinjo. Regularly? <laughs> nice goggles, tell me more. When you're flying, press B to launch at the target like a missile. Choose your target carefully though. Cost purple melody. Um, save check? Um... Like, if the game saves, you mean? No, my English. English is my first language, but sometimes you wouldn't think it, that's for sure. <laughs> but. Um. But no, but now whenever I make videos, if I'm ever, like, n unsure about a pronunciation, I always just look it up now, just to avoid the ridicule. <laughs> Does the game autosave? I think Kazooie Magic Zoo autosaves. I'm pretty sure it's, au it's autosave. Even DK64 that has the save function has, like, autosave built in. Down this way. There we go. Come on. Oh, okay. Ooh. No, it's just... Come on, long distance. No, really? I like kind of gain height too. Those are one of the more annoying parts of this level. Really? Oof. All right. Uh. We'll just go back, I guess. Get her done. Yeah, that's the talent shot of Stefano. 
pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> Rally Tat Tat might be one of the most jank moves, like the way the hair just kind of moves like that. Alright, we got the lost the snowman here. Oh, come on. Like, I feel like it's even harder because of the hitbox, but it might be the same. Um. Oh, that's awesome, serious. My stream is the first result when you go bad joke. No, come on, please, no. Please, yes. Yeah, Tails doll, exactly. Like from Sonic R, kinda. Ah, I did the same thing. I love how she just goes straight to the flute, too. The ROM hack on romhacking.net is the second result. Oh, on, oh, it's on .net, yeah. I was thinking romhacking.com. They have such similar names. Because romhacking.com is the simple flip site, for Super Mario 64 hacks, and .net is the uh, one for like all video games. There we go. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. Right back. Alright, so we got that part done with at least. <laughs> um, I guess we might as well do Christmas tree. Kind of get everything done as we go. I'm gonna get this level done in half an hour. Mark my words. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. There's a chance. I'm not that confident. If Bubble Goop Swamp took me 45 minutes, uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, I'm gonna challenge myself to every level. I'll say a time that I want to beat. Half an hour, that's, oh. I think, like, it's obviously doable. You probably do this level in, like, seven minutes, obviously, but it's, like, for me. I think I can do it in half an hour. As long as I get the boggy race first try, I should really be able to do it in half an hour. 2D's hitbox makes the boggy race impossible. Oh. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> now you're making me concerned. I know. I'm like 90%, 99% sure that's a joke, but like, there might be some truth to it. It's probably 1.0, yeah. I think all Banjo because we ROM hacks use 1.0. Because if uh, different hacks use different versions, then it just becomes like kind of a mess. So every community kind of stands behind one version of the game to use. Like, uh, oh, okay, for every ROM hack, let's use the .z64 1.0 release of like Mario 64. And I think every ROM hacking community has agreed on the .z64 version. One thing that I learned semi-recently is, uh, I mentioned this on my ROM hacking history video of Mario 64. Whenever you see a ROM hack that is .v64, that is because of the Dr. v64, right? 
which is a, uh, it's pretty much a tool that you attach on top of your 64 that lets you pirate 64 games. So that was the Dr. V64, right? So that was that. So that uh, was, you know, V64. And I think Z64 came from, uh, so the way that the Dr. V64 backs up games, it uses the little Endian format, which is just a way of storing code. And the Z64 uses Big Endian. And it's just kind of like byte swapping. Like, it's the same thing. You convert things from Little Endian to Big Endian really similar, like, very easily. And it's pretty much the same thing. But, yeah, Mr. Backup Z64. Well, that's one thing I want to learn. I want to learn more about coding. Like, I know a little bit, but, uh... A lot of this stuff, when it comes to ROM hacking, I really just don't understand. I have, like, a very elementary understanding of it. I think it'd be nice just to learn a little bit more about coding, to really understand, like, how decomp works, and, like, how, like, ROM hacks work a little bit more efficiently, other than, like... Like, I know how they work when you're using a tool, because I've made my own, but, like... That's about it, though. Like, when it comes to making a ROM hack from scratch, I get that you have to, like, find the assembly, use, like, a... Like, the cheat engine or an emulator for, like, debugging, finding what you want to change. Getting into the assembly, like, I understand that, but I wish my understanding was a little more vast. Especially when I'm always, like, kind of commentating on stuff like this, you know? Um... Yeah, I used to make ROM hacks before. That was, uh... What my channel was before I started playing them. I made Banjo-Kazooie in Mario 64, Hazy Maze Slide, and a bunch of levels for, uh... Super Smash Brothers, and I even hacked like Mario Kart 64 a little bit, but I haven't made a hack in years. Oh, I should have used Ponytail Twirl here. Like, the Ratatat Tat is like only for combat now. <laughs> um. oh. oh, is Air Mips a new program still, honey? Oh shoot, I missed that snowman. He probably has nothing. If we're missing one thing, it's that snowman, we'll, we'll assume. I don't think he has anything. But I gotta say, Sayohani, so, very impressed by this hack so far. Like, you did a really good job just uh, converting Tui and all the animations, making everything flow smooth. Like. I can't imagine the amount of work that this would have taken. Especially with the tool set we have now for Banjo, like, we pretty much only have Banjo's backpack and, like, a couple other, like, rudimentary things. And obviously, Banjo's backpack probably didn't help with this that much. It might have helped you with making, uh, replacing the sprite animations. But, like, I don't think Banjo's backpack helped you much, eh? It was probably mainly, uh, like, your own assembly stuff here, eh? Oh, Air Mips is an assembler. Oh, that makes sense. What's the hardest ROM hack I played? Oh, S. Brooks hack asks. I would have to say only up 64. That ROM hack took me like 13 hours to beat. And uh, like to get start to finish, it takes about half an hour. So it took me 13 hours of practice to do something for half an hour, if that makes sense. So definitely only up 64. That was not easy. Oh. Uh, 40. I know all about 40 Winks. I know about how it was released on the PlayStation, the Nintendo 64 version got scrapped. A prototype came out. And then, uh, it was pretty much the completed game, but then Pico Interactive went and bought the license to the game and actually finally re-released 40 Winks to the general public after, like, 30 years and they made a Kickstarter about it. Yeah, I know all about 40 Winks. Never played it, though. It's the reason why I know about it is because I did a video about Nintendo 64 Kickstarters, and that was one of the Kickstarters I featured in the video, so I just did, like, a bunch of research, research about 40 Winks, so knowledgeable about the subject right now. 
20 winks, oh yeah, that's that's the game. Game creator knows. Only the real ones know about 20 winks. Um. Oh. It. We did the stuff on the broom, right? Yeah, we did the broom. You know, I'll have to check out the randomizer again, Seohani, because I streamed that game like probably like two or three years ago already, so I'm sure there's a lot of stuff added. I'll look into the randomizer more. I think we got all the all the presents. Unless we... Yeah. Yeah, if anybody has any ideas for videos, let me know too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this is probably the most open I'm ever gonna be to like suggestions right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've heard that too, game creator, that the Glover PC port wasn't that good. But, I don't know, Glover... I actually streamed Glover when I was streaming a game, I decided to stream Glover at the end. But no, I actually had it growing up. I remember my aunt got it for me for like my birthday or something. But I never was able to beat it, Glover's actually an insanely hard game. Like, I would argue that it's probably one of the hardest Nintendo 64 games, like, out there. Like, for games that I've played, like, I, cause I've played it, like, older too, and it's not like, oh, it's easy now that I'm older, I was just a stupid kid. No, it's, it's a tough game. I thought there was a race without... okay. You know, I've never played Wind Waker before, but uh, maybe that should change. I'm not against trying Wind Waker, or Twilight... I've never played Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, so... I'm sure I'd most likely enjoy them, I don't see why I wouldn't. But, uh... I think Luigi's Mansion might be a better game to stream, but maybe I should save that for the Halloween season, because I've never played Luigi's Mansion either. I've never played Star Fox 64 too, so like, that game would be a good game to stream, but... I don't know, I think my next stream will probably, I'll probably go Super Mario World, but it's remade from memory, or Cavern of Dreams, and whatever wins, wins. But I really want Cavern of Dreams to win a poll, because I know Buy9 is like part of the 64 community, works so hard on that game. And he even gave me a code for it, so I can play it. But I really do want to stream Cavern of Dreams, it's just... I'm not sure if like, the people on this channel would be interested in, in it, so I like doing a poll and I'm like, kind of unsure about that stuff. Yeah, no, that's a good idea, serious. Gargoyles on Genesis. Oh, yeah. Oh, Genesis, it's, uh, I think the Super Nintendo's better, obviously, but, uh, Genesis is a pretty sick console. Like, the Sonic games are so good. You have, like, Alex the Kid. Uh, like, Comic Zone and stuff. I had a, oh, I have the Genesis collection for Xbox 360. And I had the Sonic Mega collection for, uh, whatchamacallit. For GameCube, which is pretty much only Genesis games. I think this is a Genesis game. It might be Sega Master System, but I'm pretty sure it's Genesis. Flicky is such a fun game. Flicky's fantastic. I'm pretty sure that's Genesis. Yeah, it must be. Like, I think of the graphics of Flicky, and it kind of reminds me of NES, so maybe it's the Master System, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's Genesis. Oh wow, we got all the notes. 
You ran 64 stream. Honestly, Craig? That's not a bad idea. I've never played it. Everyone says it's the worst game ever and they can't beat it, but I feel like people don't have patience, you know? And I feel like I have a pretty good amount of patience compared to the average person. Especially because, like, most of the games I play are ROM hacks that have never been playtested before, so it's like... I think it'd be interesting if I actually, like, tried Superman 64, because... Honestly, I, I think I could beat it. Like, I got a lot of patience when it comes to games. If it takes me two hours to complete a level, like, it doesn't bug me that much. I don't, like, get angry or anything, so it's like... I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I should really try Superman 64. Cavern of Dreams or Superman 64? I'll be like, no. I don't know. Okay, there's rubber banding. I'll be okay. But... <laughs> yeah, I just... Honestly, like, I should get in contact with Crix, like... The amount of people that I've gone to buy Everdrives, like... <laughs> I should have some sort of, like, uh, promo code on that side or something, you know? I should be getting a cut of that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it seems so much slower. It's just, no, oh, you don't have the boots on, though. That's the reason why, serious. The first one was easy. There's a second race, right? Or, no. Is there not a second race? Wait, is there only one race? No, you're right. No, you're right. Yeah, he was so much faster. No, there's two races. Yeah, no, there's definitely two races, because remember grabbing the turbo trainers. Yeah, there is a second race, yeah. Now, the second race is what I struggled with. I'm surprised that the viewers don't dip one I'm playing as like the walrus or like a transformation character because if you're going in a stream Magic Kazooie 2D's adventure and you tune in and you see a walrus like you don't like you don't get that 2D's even there so I'm glad that like <laughs> I was kind of afraid that the viewers would just dip during these parts because for the people that are just like tuning in it's like they don't get that the game's even changed but Yeah, exactly, PPP. We don't have the fun pulls this time, which is nice. Oh, that was... Oh, I cannot believe how long that took me. Because I made a video compiling the footage and actually naming my attempts. Here, I'll just show chat really quick. This will be a very small sidetrack, don't worry. This sidetrack will be like a two-minute sidetrack tops. But, uh... Okay, it is... Doo -doo. So, wait, where is it? Oh yeah, here we go. Got the... Uh, oh, I'll just go... Yeah. So this... Yeah, it took me over 100 tries. This is the timer here, right? Here, At the top of the screen. So this is gonna be harder now. Can I try this race? And it is... It's bad. And like, this is not all my attempts, 27 minutes. I edited down the footage. Like, I'm talking two, three hours of attempts for for this. I, it's kind of cool we, if you look, I guess you can see how long it took. Oh, so if you go to the end, really puff. try 105, two hours in. This is right. only doing this. I was trying this for oh, no, two hours and 20 minutes. Wait, what did I say? 
Yeah, did they say 100 tries? Yeah, the, the editing of that picture. Alright. Oh no, I've probably given this 100 tries now. Yeah, I was right. Uh... Oh. Giant Jigglypuff! Oh yeah, so this is the end. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> It. 105 tries in the randomizer. Yeah. But usually it would go like. He like. I don't know. It was just super hard at the gates and like the rubber banding. It would be like. Yeah, like Cause yeah, you see I'm like ahead and it's like, alright, I got this, but like. This is it. No. But, yeah. Oh, anyways, we'll, we'll go back to the gate. Yeah, 100, 105 tries. I'm never gonna look at that boggy race the same ever again. Um. Yeah, I'll probably try saving and quitting like at the end of the stream or something. Or if I happen to get a game over, we'll see it. But I'm hoping no deaths. No death percent. We'll see. Alright, we are going to transform back to 2D here. I think I got pretty much. Yeah, I got all the notes. Oh, but we'll grab this mumble token. That's why I jumped on the wall here. Yeah, this music going pretty smooth so far, like no crashes or anything, but I'm playing on emulators, so that's that helps. Because originally Seohani thought this was console compatible, and I started playing it on console, but right when I got inside the lair, it crashed, so. This stream would have been much different if I was playing on console. Fair <laughs> bad. Yeah, like, I feel like video game developers should just not have rubber banding and have it, like, beat this race in less than an hour, or not an hour, but re beat this race in less than two minutes sort of thing, you know? And kind of have that mechanic. Do we take the walrus outside for anything here? We don't. There's nothing outside for the walrus. But uh, the thing is, though, if you just kind of have, like, the person you're facing as as a time limit, then if someone's really good at the game, they're just going to destroy them, and it won't seem fun. And if someone's bad, they'll never be able to beat it. So I understand, like, why they have the rubber banding, but... I think it would just be better if the person has a set path every time. Kind of like Koopa the Quick. Koopa the Quick doesn't have rubber banding, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do stall wop and stop codes in this stream. There's no point. All of us know about the ice key and the stop and swap codes. I remember as a kid doing it, and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Finally get the ice key, but... Okay, so what am I even missing here, other than Boggy Race? I'm missing the Green Jinjo. Boggy Race and another one. Yeah, maybe there wasn't an issue with theirs, but... That's the thing, though, like, uh... I think there are really accurate emulators that you can use, Seohani. I think there is... Have you ever heard of Sen64? I think Sen64 is the closest emulator for console. It's just, it's, it's a bad emulator, but it's really good for, like, testing things. You know? So I think like a lot of people that don't have Everdrives, they'll try it on Sen64, and if it crashes on Sen64... But maybe someone in chat knows more than I do. I... Like, I could completely be off. Alright, with the rubber... Oh. 
too easy. Send 64. But no, if we could just have like an accurate emulator, that would be really cool, but... 64 emulation is really weird. Oh. Okay, the problem is, is 2D's hitbox is so small, like, with Banjo, he just grabbed that, so I gotta, like, yeah, uh, you guys see the problem here. Yo, doing good, Craig, how are you doing today? I like your profile picture, Zoidberg. This is gonna be the death of me. Like, here's the thing. This hitbox isn't the actual hitbox. I just have to blindly jump. Oh, no, that makes sense, though, honey. Try three of a hundred. <laughs> Thank you, game great. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're good. All right. We're good. It's just, yeah, grabbing that, because 2D has a much smaller hitbox than Banjo. And that has screwed me over at least four times. Wow, we're in flashbacks. In bad flashbacks here. No, this is pretty much just stock though, so it's like, I, I, I obviously, I have this. Okay, there we go, I know how to grab that now. Yeah, I'm in my head now. No, like, it really doesn't matter till the end because of the rubber banding. Okay, here we go. Here. Wait, is there a honeycomb just in the water somewhere? This time, me, I don't know. Try five of a hundred, yeah. <laughs> There's a party that wants to blame 2D's hitbox, but it's probably a skill issue thing. Like, I'll be honest, it, it's probably just 100% me. I'll say that this is just probably like very close to the original. Like, yeah, the hitbox is different, but still, it's like the way that I lost both times was because kind of cut me off, and I thought I got a gate when I didn't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah, you think I'd be a master at this after trying that a hundred times, like, 
two months ago, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like everyone's like, oh, to beat the race, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. I'm trying all these different strategies. Okay, so... Um... I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly at a loss about what to do, but I think as long as I just keep going around, I, I'll figure it out right away. So we are at... We need a Jinjo. Oh, we got both honeycombs. Jinjo and honeycomb? Or no, Jinjo and Jiggy, I mean. Jinjo and Jiggy. Um. I feel like one of the Jiggies is gonna be like super obvious, or is this gonna be like out in the open somewhere and I just didn't collect? Oh, there we go, Jinjo. Will I do a survey video on Banjo Tooie? Uh, probably not, smart gamer. To be honest, like my last survey videos didn't do too well, and those videos take me so long to produce. It's like the amount of effort I put in for those survey videos. It's really not worth it to do for like the amount of views they get. If that makes sense, you know. Be completely honest with you. But. And another thing, every survey video I did, I did using Sony Vegas, and I switched editing software about a year ago, so now I'm using Premiere Pro. And doing one of those survey videos on Premiere Pro, I'd have to kind of like, relearn the editing and stuff. It, it'd take a lot longer to edit since I switched editing software now to be like, I wouldn't have a template anymore, I guess that's... Oh, here we go. We're good, everything worked out. I forgot that you got one just for defeating all the snowmen. Oh, they completely changed the intro cutscene, Chromius. Like, they changed the story completely where, like, Tui's sleeping in the bed and Banjo's in the cage now. No, Vegas is great. Like, if Vegas works on your computer and you like Vegas, stick with Vegas. Like, the only reason why I swapped to Premiere Pro was because Vegas was constantly crashing on me and my computer couldn't run Vegas. And I just had too many problems to the point where, like, I was wasting time just trying to get Vegas working, you know? And I'm just like, hey, Vegas is so bad, I need to, I need to swap. So then once I swap to Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro still, still crashes, but nowhere near as often as Vegas crashed. So it's a good swap that I did, because I saved time in the end, because of avoiding all the crashes. But at the end of the day, like, if you like Vegas, stick with Vegas, like, there's, like, there's kind of a elitist Premiere Pro community, kind of, where they think that, like, oh, Premiere Pro is what the real editors use, and, like, there's definitely some Premiere Pro elitism going on, and I really don't think that's the case. Like, if you like Vegas, stick with Vegas for sure, like, Premiere Pro didn't make my videos any better. It made me doing text slightly easier. Other than that, like, the videos did not change at all, they're super similar, but yeah. Don't switch to Vegas. Like, if I had to say, should you start with Vegas or Premiere, I would just say Premiere, but if you're doing Vegas, stick with Vegas. For sure. You're not going to be missing much. And Vegas is a great program, too. And there's stuff in Vegas that I miss in Premiere. Like, time cuts, like, you can, uh, like, hold Alt when you move a clip, and you can shrink it, like, by speed percentages, like, by, like, 83% or something. You can just... You have a little uh, toggle so you can play back videos at like 1.5 times speed really easily and really smoothly. Like Vegas has a lot of cool features that Premiere Pro doesn't that I miss. So it's like, but Premiere Pro does have stuff that Vegas didn't have. So it's like, I don't know. If you're starting out, I would just go Premiere. But if not, if you're using Vegas, stick with Vegas, I guess. You know, I do agree, they do have similar ones. Uh, 
Rocky Gumbo Gump. Yeah, well, that, that's fair, so honey. Another aspect to it. Oh no, okay, we're gonna have to hit this immediately. Come on. I hate how tight this timer is. Oh, come on, I should have jumped more. Now that's fair game creator. Yeah, this part... And like, I do like how 2D functions differently than Banjo 2 with the hitbox, like the ponytail twirl. It does feel like using a different character, it doesn't just feel like a skin swap, which is nice. Because I was really hoping it wasn't just going to be a skin swap, and I do like how like... Moves are new, oh wow, uh, I'm going to fail. Wow, that wasn't even close. There's a part of me that wants to blame this on 2D, but this is probably just vanilla game here. When I'm just skill issue sort of thing. I think one of my problems that I'm having is I'm not like lined up for uh, that for the hole over there. To beak bomb this, don't we? Like, do we do both of them? Did we miss? No, we didn't miss a switch. Okay, thank God we didn't touch the ground there. That would have been bad. And with the ponytail twirl, we can probably kind of cheese it a bit to get that one after Mad Monster. Oh. oh wow, that's actually walkable. What happens if we walk on here? Fair enough. Gold feathers here. All right now, Gobi's Valley for the second time. Craig. Um. Oh yeah, like the advent calendars. Yeah, game creator. Yeah, that's, that's really cool how they did that. Yeah, I'm going to the
that's fair, Pearl Jamie. <laughs> Very fair. Uh. All right, we got what's his name, Trunker. Were there always sh no? There must have always been shoes here. I doubt they added a pair of shoes here. All right. Oh, wait, did I? I doubt I hit my half-hour goal. Oh, okay. oh, I was a little bit over. This level, okay, we're gonna get under 40 minutes. Oh, this level is the worst for the randomizer, though. Oh my gosh, because of that maze. Because usually there isn't, like, notes in the maze, or there isn't much notes in the maze. But, oh, when I was doing randomizer for this, that was horrible. Um. Okay, uh, that seems fine. Yeah, will it hit the nose? <laughs> hey, that tickles. crazy how many carpets there are in like 64 games it's like there's obviously like mario 64 carpet carpets there's the whole carpet list that just happened so that's like a huge thing zooey has carpets i'm sure there's a carpet in glover like <laughs> i mean i guess carpets are pretty common it's like one of the most popular floor types but Yeah, hairspin is goaded, serious. Oh yeah, make sure we get these. I'm not sure if that worked. Oh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I love the ratatat tat. It, it looks so funny. But in the original game, the ratatat tat is almost better than not uh, this move. But in this game, obviously, this move is like far superior. Yeah, these games and their carpets and lighthouses exactly peep. Next video, carpets versus lighthouses in Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> What's the more superior thing? They can actually make a whole video about that, like not even lying, like not even joking. I could make a whole video about that, but... Uh, is there... There is. Kind of want. Okay, no, we'll go there regularly. Um, isn't. No, the camel goes there. Okay, we will worry about that in a bit. We'll do that last. Um. Oh, okay, that B. Have that. Obviously need the boots to get those. Oh! That's perfect. The hitbox on that thing is really big, but this is definitely one of the coolest parts of the game. Um. Okay, I hate the hitboxes in this game. Like, you have to jump to get every one of these. Oh, that is insane. 
these hitboxes. Yeah, oh. No, like, I wish I could make kind of like sillier videos like that, but I don't think that many people would be interested. It's a little bit too niche, you know? Because even like, I did a whole video about Nintendo 64 controller ports and like controller sockets. Like, oh, if you plug in controllers in a player two and special stuff that happens, like, I go way too niche with my content sometimes, you know? I need to go yeah, a little bit broader. Okay, no, we're good. Um, we're gonna touch that no matter what. Jump off the wall? Nope. Okay, these bees, don't you dare. One thing I learned through ROM hacks is you can actually get rid of these bees if you have a gold feather. Which is something you would never even think of in the original game, but in ROM hacks, though, lots of people spam way too many of those bees and, like, you need to do that. That's fair, dude. Use a 64 makes the content more unique. Okay, there we go. Oop. Nope, the hitbox is smaller. We're gonna have to do this perfectly now with the smaller hitbox. What the heck? What? Hey, yeah, that's a glitch. I don't know why they're so big. <laughs> I think it just has to do with collecting both at once. What the heck? I wonder why it's so big. Really? That? That gets rid of that move. Okay. Too much power, yeah. I need to be, like, pinpoint accuracy here with the small hitbox. Yeah. There we go. shoes, don't we? Yeah, this is the maze. Now the bees. <laughs> the jump scare viewers wanted, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that happened. That was, that was pretty cool, though. I wouldn't fix that one. <laughs> Wait, can we go? We could. Is this even gonna work? Like, whatever. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. I think they give you ample time. Just remember to collect these notes because I'm obviously missing them, partly because of my hitbox, partly because I'm lazy. Shoot. With arms wide open. <laughs> Yeah. 
jumping up slopes is a little bit faster. Okay, that saved time. There we go. What? Okay. I don't know what happened there, but I'm not happy. And I have two... Wait! Go, 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 go! Uh... Yeah, the game did not want that to happen. I think there's a honey box here. Or honeycomb box, I guess, if you will. Don't have a time limit, just make a honeycomb care. Um... Get rid of the bees. Yeah, I'm not messing around. I do not want to die. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You aren't getting an exactly Pearl Jam. A Pearl Genie. Here we go. Nope. Um. Okay, this time, I don't know how I failed last time, but. time we're going to cut every corner. There we go. <laughs> Oof. Oh, okay. oh, I thought this was a maze, but obviously not. This is the collect the jiggy and the water level lowers one. Sweet. Like a smiley face there. Okay, give me a honeycomb. Art. Yeah. There we go. Actually, I should save those. <laughs> Be a little bit more conservative with those. There we go. As I avoid these, which I need more of too. Let's keep. The annoying thing is, though, like, look at this. Or no. It... Oh, it, like, it's just, the hitbox is so small. Like, you need to jump to collect a lot of objects that are on the ground that you usually wouldn't have to. Um... Thing that, though... Do -do 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 -do. Do this little water area, yes. Oh. I wonder why the reticle was orange earlier. Now the reticle's blue. I wonder why the reticle's changing colors. Yeah, 2D's an inch tall, yeah. Tiny 2D. No, I actually I do like the change though. Oh, the smaller hit because it makes the game different. You know, the more differences, the better.
Wait, how come he's not messing around? He's just... Oh, there you go. We have to activate him. I guess it probably takes a fair bit of resources to activate him, so they don't want him constantly moving around in that code constantly running until you're close. Oh, thank you, the Falafel Express. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so when we get that ginger, we've done a lap. Come back up. Get all these notes here. Oh, Mungo Token. Mungo Token. The old death run so far. You know, it's really cool how every level has like an underwater theme too. That changes when you're in the water. It's a nice addition to this game. Is this the pyramid with the thing? I think this. No, this isn't maze. Or it could be. I. This might be matching. Oh no, this is maze. Oh my gosh, and the randomizer. I was going around this maze for so long trying to find the last note that I needed. Obviously, hit the switch. Yeah. Okay. I thought the game crashed there for a second. Did you guys see that slowdown there? Okay, thank god. That seemed like a crash. A whole life flashed before my eyes there. Is, is this a shepherd stone? I think that's a shepherd stone, eh? Those of you that don't know, a shepherd stone, they use it in Mario 64, like the endless staircase. It's a group of melodies where it makes it sound like it's continuously getting a higher pitch when it isn't. Yeah, I, I think that's a shepherd stone. Wait, what? Is that all it took? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure, so honey. It'd be cool if 2D was implemented in the randomizer, so it would randomly be bound to our 2D, maybe. But I'd have to talk to Giant Jigglypuff about that one. Oh, it just opens automatically, okay. I don't think there's any notes in the maze, so I'll just continue. I do a randomized version of the sack if it works. Like, yeah, I, I would. I, well, I don't know. I did a, a Banjo Kazooie randomizer pretty recently, so unless the randomizer was like really updated, I probably wouldn't do another BK randomizer for at least a couple years, unless it has like a really good update. That's like, yeah, it changes a lot of things. Because the next randomizer I plan on playing is probably going to be the Majora's Mask Ocarina of Time Cross randomizer. Because since the last time that I've played that one, there's been a bunch of new features in it, so... That is the one I plan on doing next. Um, okay, so this one... Alright, we'll grab these. Oh, yeah, no, I've heard about the stamina thing that you added, Sayoni. That's really cool. Oh, are you kidding me? How did I miss that note? Well, good thing I'm looking it now because I did a good lap around here. That probably would have been my last one. All right.
Alright. Levitate. Okay, I think this is maybe the matching one. Because we got matching pyramid left, and then... Another pyramid even. There's... Oh yeah, this is matching. Oh wow. We have to jump to kill him because our hitbox is so small. Alright, I'm, I'm the master matcher here. Blue egg feather. Honeycomb. Banjo. Zooey. Feather. Bumbo. Zooey. Oops. Oh wow, I'm I'm bad. Feather. Feather. Note. Note. Mumbo, Mumbo. Oh, that's Kazooie. Mumbo. Actually, they give you a lot of time for this. I think the randomizer screws the timers a bit. I remember this being tight, but like I've obviously messed up a bunch. And Jinjo, Jinjo. Honeycomb. Honeycomb? Kazooie Kazooie. Oh no. Kazooie Kazooie Bench Bench. Alright. Yeah. No, the randomizer must mess with the timers a bit. Because I remember this being tighter. Or it might be a different game I'm thinking of. I'm honestly probably confusing this for memory match in Super Mario Party 64. Oh, you're trying the randomizer with Goodyell. That's pretty cool. Serious? Thank you, PPP. I appreciate it. Um, I guess now it's kind of flying stuff. And camel. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, the second uh, mini games can be really difficult there, like the shooting gallery and stuff. But oh, I do plan on doing that randomizer again sometime soon. I think they got pot sanity in that one now too, which is pretty insane. But no, the Majora's Mask Ocarina of Time Cross randomizer. I'll probably do it. I don't know. Just the longer I wait, the better it'll be, because it's constantly getting updates, so it's like... There's part of me that thinks I should just wait a little bit longer, you know? Okay. There we go, 84. Wait, is, is that notes up there? Oh no, it's... okay. You see why I got confused, because there's other yellow notes in this game. There we go. That's actually kind of a tight jump. Right now we're just gonna fly for a bit. Oh, and Grunty's Fern is fun. Okay, that might be it there, George. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, don't be a time thing, please. Oh, it is a time thing. Okay, whatever. We'll just do this part now. Just be permanently be old pun. Um. Oh yeah, and I have three notes. So, hello, my friend. Come back, cause you have three notes, I guess. If I hit every note, I might be okay, actually.
Uh, well, that's funny, Seo. I don't think I can repeat that, though, Seo Honey. <laughs> that's the joke I think that you're making. <laughs> No. Shoot. Alright, we are coming back to this area, I guess. Uh. Alright. Wait, actually. No, we're not going to try that. That seems dangerous. Uh. Maybe we should have done the Pink Melody's uh, cheat code or whatever. Wait, did that guy reset? We have notes there. Okay, so that one's like over there. Yeah, you think they'd have eggs in that room, but Pink Melody, yeah, I have it written down. I'll do all three cheats at once once I get them all. Even though like the last you get is like end game, I think. But Oh, like the pat like the delta patch broke serious um uh, 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 uh. only joking mortal we can only give you this okay, sweet Oh, that makes sense, Sirius. The app's called Delta. These are still missing a lot. Oh, Gobi the Camel. Yeah, I think we got a... We didn't even ground pound him at the start. That's okay. Wait, what? I am misremembering how this works. Ground Pound Gobi. Next to a pyramid. Oh, wait, yeah, I know. Okay. I'm re-remembering now. He's over here. And then he moves over there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there he is. What a guy. So, oh, so the swap and stop door area is nothing? Okay, do we have another... Yeah, we have Orange Jinjo still. And this isn't good. When you feel like you completely explored the level and you're still missing, like, two jiggies. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, we're missing two Jinjos. Unless he moves again, he might he might move twice. Yeah, because he moves to the tree. There we go. Yeah, we're we're good. This will be a jiggy now.
Okay, no, everything's coming together now. Yeah, we'll go like this. I think you are. I'll check out by the Sphinx there, and then should be good. We'll grab these notes just because we're going to need them to get the other Jiggy. So yeah, we know where the rest of the Jiggies are in the notes are, so... I think everything's going smooth. Hopefully seven's enough. Like, is, is the Jinjo going to be, like, in a corner here? Like... I know what I'm thinking. Honeycomb that we need. Oh, I got you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. I swear this is the one that I missed in the randomizer too. Yeah. I remember playing the randomizer. And I was missing like one note, and the note was like combined with the ginger or whatever. Yeah, but I, I know what exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah, no baby alien hatching or anything like that. Yeah, okay, I hear him. Right. No, I haven't showed the game overcut scene yet, Marty Man. I'm gonna go to the bathroom right back. Call me Mario Pajamas, Craig. <laughs> the most comfortable streaming. Okay. Uh, how many notes? Do you have eight. How many? Three. Oh no. Where could these three notes be? Yeah, I'm for a hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, so there should be just be like kind of a note triplet somewhere. Wait. We don't have this honeycomb over here yet, do we? Yeah, honeycomb, three notes, and we know where the jiggy is. The notes might be up the snake, actually. Is it spawning a show? Oh, yeah, it is spawning thing. No, no! 
Do we turn around? Turn around. We'll get that later. We are not going to die. Actually, we'll grab these to be safe. I'm not risking my life for that honeycomb right now. We're getting 100 notes first. I'm hoping the snake has three notes on the way up, but it probably doesn't. It might be the maze, which... Um... Here. Oh, it might be maze. I can see him being. Is there three notes in the maze? I mean, there very well could be. Like 18. Fine. <laughs> Entrance. Okay, thank you, Pearl. Pearl Jamie. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be that one then. It could be up here. Grab on the race. Oh no, I think you're right, Pearl Jamie. No, yeah, you're right. I I don't think I I might have, but you're probably right. Yeah, I'll double check that because I don't think I did ever collect those notes again. <laughs> that animation actually works really well with 2D. I like how her idle animation started playing the flute in the intro. Yeah. Hopefully it's just on the way to the maze. Yeah, I don't fall. Yeah, I only have two health. Exactly, all on the side. Um. Yeah, I think I see a note already. Yeah, we're good. Okay, thank God. Great idea there, Pearl, Jamie. I appreciate it. Our yeah. Because I would have figured that out eventually, but you definitely saved me at least like four minutes. Because yeah, with the smaller hitbox, usually you get these on the way up, but because you have to go so out of your way for them, it's like, uh, yeah. Totally forgot to come back from. Okay, so now we only need honeycomb, right? Yep, just honeycomb. Oh, 40 minutes! So this is actually better than I thought, even though I feel like this level's been a bit of a mess too. It definitely hasn't been our deal, ideal, but uh, not that. Alright, so get the honeycomb. More like an hour, yeah. I try to be realistic with my <laughs> um, uh, when I say something for like times and stuff. I feel like lots of people like exaggerate, but I try to be really realistic. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? I hit that honeycomb a million percent. Like that was oh the smaller hit box. Makes that a pain, but... Ugh. Alright, we'll, we'll get it here. Ah, 
randomizer is 2.1. I, uh, I don't know the last... You know when it was updated? Because I played, like, I want to say, like, six months ago-ish, or, like, maybe a year ago already. Alright. Uh... There we go. Got, got a new honeycomb tool. Fills our health. Last three levels. We still probably got like three hours left. <laughs> Hopefully Mad Monster Match isn't too bad. I mean, after doing the randomizer, this game definitely seems a lot easier. Randomizer really kind of kicks your butt. Uh... Don't we need the spring. Oh wow, that yeah, works. It seems like 2D's hitbox is almost like under her in a sense, you know? Alright, the triple M. The mad monster man Shion. Um This could totally be the wrong direction. But I think the painting's over here. But I could be going the wrong way. No, it's over here. I'm like 20% sure. Game over cutscene? I'll do it at the end, because like... There's part of me that thinks the game over cutscene... Like, if the game doesn't save properly or something, it's like, I don't know. getting flashbacks to the DK64 randomizer where it didn't save and it's like I'm sure the game probably is saving properly but uh, I'm not gonna go out of my way to reload a save in a game that hasn't been fully tested <laughs> I've learned my lesson too many times oh you're not a fan of click clock woods which is fair pretty big level This area is kind of like a liminal space sort of thing. And you go here once, and there's no reason to ever come back here, you know? It's one of those rooms that, uh, I think his name's Anything Austin, or Any Austin. There's those videos about like liminal spaces, which are really good. Great content creator. Oh, this is like kind of one of those spaces in my head. You go here one time and you're never here again. You're here for like 40 seconds. You know? You know, any Austin's great. Oh, oof. No, we're... shoot. We're gonna grab that. Yeah, because of his videos, it's like, you see spots in games and it's like, you forget about a lot of like, small places that are just like, used once, are almost like, unnecessary and stuff. Ecom token. I don't think we ever go come back here, right? I thought maybe after we raise the water level. Oh yeah, you can come back for that one up after. But who would ever do that? Has that ever been done before? In human history? Has anybody actually came back for that one up? Well, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. 
Mm. You're not a fan of Ad Monster Mansion? I think it's okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's... I, I don't know. I, I get you though. Or, uh, like, I made a survey video about uh, Banjo Kazooie, and I don't think Mad Monster Mansion did the best. So, I did do that picture. I, I was reading chat, and I didn't make a mental note when I did it, but I should be fine. I did it. Am I going to the right spot or the wrong spot here? Yeah, we're good. Um, alright, yeah, I think we're just good to go to Man Mad Monster Mansion now. I remember when I was playing the Jiggies of Time, I was on the last level, and I did not have enough Mumble Tokens to do the last transformation, and it was so upsetting. Because I thought I had enough, and then I searched how many Mumbles Tokens were in that level while I was playing it, and I was like, oh no, I have to like, exit out of this level. And Jiggies of Time, it's actually a lot more difficult than you'd think. I kind of want to stream Jiggies of Time. I mean, I have a six hour YouTube video of me playing through the entire game, so it's like... But I haven't played it in like three years, so Jiggies of Time is a game I'm kind of thinking of streaming too. I've been having that on like my polls lately too. But... I don't know, I don't know if people would be that interested in Jiggies of Time, because I already have a video on my channel about it, so... I'm gonna make sure there's just a hole here for the pumpkin, right? You have to break this down first. I do. Okay, good thing I did that. Oh, that's weird. Serious? This level's horrible with the randomizer. I remember struggling on this one too. Like, finding the last note on the randomizer, oh my gosh, can it ever be a pain? I think the randomizer, I think it took me three separate streams to beat the randomizer last time. I might be able just to cheese this. Yeah. Ponytail twirls OP. Like. actually so cool. Um. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, that is awesome. We're able just to <laughs> totally skip that part. Yeah, that's actually super cool. Because for those of you that don't know, usually when you step on any of the floorboards, he wakes up. But we're able to jump from the carpet to the chair, which normally you would never be able to do for obvious reasons. Is there any reason for this other than to get this one up that we won't use? I think... It's making, it's making me question why that's there, but I think we're fine. I don't think we missed anything. Yeah, bro's how cold, I agree. Um, I feel like Mad Monster Mansion is gonna go good. Like, no deaths, no mistakes, just a nice clean level. We'll, we'll see. That one isn't any- wait, is there nothing in here? Is there zero purpose to this room? Really? 
No, there's 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 not a purpose. Just a room you can avoid. All right. There's got to be a point to this room, or I think I'm just thinking of randomizer, where like obviously each room kind of has a purpose because everything's randomized. But okay, I'll take it. Yeah, see if it works serious. I have a feeling that it won't, to be completely honest with you, but... Alright, some more notes here. Oof. Another pointless room, I guess. Okay, right, bottom floor is good here. Let's check out the wine cellar here. Or the cellar, I guess. Don't use any wine in here. This is where one of the stop and swap eggs is too, if you use the code. But it's really cool that in like the Xbox Live Arcade version, they finally made like stop and swap actually the bowl finally. But I mean, it would have been so easy to do stop and swap with just like the Nintendo 64 memory pack, you know? Like, that's one thing that I. You never hear people be like, oh, there's a, literally a memory pack for the console. I know Banjo Kazooie doesn't use it, but it's like. Because it has, like, obviously a battery on the cartridge. Seems like the games that use, like, the actual memory pack. I guess Mario Kart 64 used the memory pack. Like, none of the first party games really used it, except Mario Kart, and that's only for ghost save data. Because weirdly, they couldn't put it on the cartridge for some reason. What do I think of that? It's obviously like the Tony Hawk games use it, like Rush 2 uses it. Um, the sports games use it. I think it's just uh, games that didn't want to pony up and put a battery on the cartridge, which would probably be like an extra $3 in manufacturing cost or something like that. Goes to not have a battery saved and use the memory pack sort of thing. Yeah, so we gotta remember, we gotta come back to this room. For a pumpkin. Um. Oh yeah, no, that's fair, yeah, because the, the previous Nintendo 64 models that weren't fantastic, it might not exactly be fantastic. It might be uh, just Nintendo 64 models made after a certain time, but 100% the fantastic have this. They have like one second of saving the RAM between power on and off, and the old Nintendo 64s have like 10 seconds or something like that. But now that must have been the biggest mystery back in the day before people knew about it. You 100% the game, and you see all these secret eggs. And like you never get the answer for all these years. It's, it's definitely like one of the coolest kind of like video game mysteries ever. Um how pointless these rooms are. <laughs> is there a honeycomb down here? Oh no. No, this is a pumpkin honeycomb. Okay, we're, we're okay. I was gonna say, oh 2D glitch is here. We can almost get it though. 2D's almost small enough to just bypass the pumpkin, but. Like, there might be areas where the pumpkin can go that 2D could also, you know? We're checking that out. Because it is a smaller hitbox. Not as small as the pumpkin, but. It's kind of in between. Yeah, I think I did everything in this floor. 
So it seems like it's just like this floor we gotta like kind of worry about pumpkin stuff on. Yeah, we pretty much have mansion, or like this mansion done. Like not the level, but like the mansion in general done. There's a couple doors up top. Uh. Oh. oh, yeah, this will have something good on top of the bed, most likely. Oh, yeah, Jinjo. Does this not open? Oh, I guess I'm just used to the chest in Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah, the stop and swap codes. I'm curious how they did it too. Like, I'm assuming it's using like emulator tools or even uh, some of the Game Sharks for 64 I thought had kind of uh, cheat code finders, so it might have been like through that. Okay, let's just not try try to skip that. Jump right right onto the gutter here. Nope, bat, don't don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, of course, just yeah, just slide right off. Okay. All right, get the snow. Okay. <laughs> All right, head right back up. <laughs> no, I do like the glide though. And now this is the wrong window, won't it be? Yeah. It's this window. And the chimney, I don't even think we need to go down it now because we already kind of skipped that part. But I'm going to go down it just in case I'm misremembering how the game works. It's kind of crazy that a bunch of these rooms just have no notes in this one. So it's like, oh, let's just throw all the notes in one room. But. Hit it with this cam and we're good. Up top. Yeah, this should be nothing. We did this already. Yeah. Oh, we can grab this mumbo token. Maybe. It's a yeah, okay. We're good. Already did that. Let's do maze first. Or wait, no, let's uh do this area first. Do maze last. Uh I probably don't need this to get there, but we'll still use it. Got those shoes there. Um, I totally forgot what this does again. I feel like we need to break down a gate or something. Yeah, this gate. Okay, no, this is why we do this area last. Yeah, because we need to just press on a switch or something. 
Yeah, Banjo Kazooie gets kidnapped this time, and by and yeah, the whole intro cut seems completely different. Where Tootie's sleeping, Banjo Kazooie get caught. There we go. Oh, I hate how we have to jump to get these. The hitbox is so small. Okay, so this area specifically, it what? Oh, okay. We can do this area. Alright. Maze last, I guess. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll done well. Even though I know this is like a mainly a pumpkin thing. Is there anything we can really do here as just regular? Uh. Wait. Are you not supposed to be able to go down the well as Banjo? I mean, Pumpkin would just be so much easier. Well, I guess it's just you can do it either way, I guess. So yeah, we'll use Pumpkin to get those notes so like we actually have control and can avoid those uh, snapper guys. Now get out! <laughs> Both can. Oh, that makes sense. No, I haven't found a single area. Well, I mean, like a loading zone area, I mean, that we can get to and bound you can't. But I'm sure there are somewhere in the game. I haven't really checked like every small space for that specifically. Transformation there. Oh, these are just. Oh, I thought those were regular notes. Those yellow notes definitely screw with me a bit. Alright, fair enough. I guess we'll do the Terra card spot. Or not really Terra card, what what's it called? Ouya? Not Ouya. An Ouya board, yeah. Ouija board. <laughs> no, a Ouija board. <laughs> not Ouya. <laughs> a Ouija board. I don't know what I'm saying here. Oh yeah, I think I can. I'll have to try that out next time I transform. A Ouija board. The Luigi board, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think it's just kind of spelt like Ooh, yeah, so That's why I was thinking that. My free easy Ouya board, yeah. <laughs> I probably should have gotten rid of this guy before. And... Should be easy. Should be free. <laughs> Magic Kazooie. Okay, where's the other O? Down here, right? The camera that's here isn't helpful. Aye, all right, we're good. Pretty narcissistic that it's like every puzzle, just spell your own name. <laughs> Jump backwards. Take this. Leave the gloomy shed.
Yo, what's up, Jeanette? You know, the game's been great so far. Enjoying it. Well, it's pretty much vanilla Banjo Kazooie with, like, very minor changes, so. It's a lot more doable than, like, the randomizers I've been doing for this game, so. Oh, wait, I think that was a Mumbo token, eh? Hey, Gumbo, Gumbo. Oh, uh, no, we'll do. Maze first. Just get Maze over with. Yeah, it's a, it's an excuse to do a Banjo Kazooie stream exactly. Aurora, Aurora gets it. Yo, know, there's somebody I really want to do a raid for when this stream ends if they happen to be streaming. But I'm not sure if uh, the stars will align I'll, and I'll be able to raid them. But if I do, it'll be it'll be fun. Um. Maybe we should just go inside the maze and just, yeah, use this camera. It's just, I'm concerned I'm going to miss a note. But the way the camera is here, which should be fine. Some Jinjo. Oh, I got all five Jinjos. Okay. We are closer to beating this level than I thought. I was not expecting that to be the last Jinjo at all. Okay. Get these two bonded. Oh, good to have you back, game creator. What sort of food did you get? <laughs> now I'm getting hungry. I haven't ate in a while. Maybe I might eat on stream. I might just order some food in. Because I'm going to be streaming for probably another two hours at least. So it's like... I might just order in food and eat on stream here. Because I am getting kind of hungry. Uh, might it be Wendy's? Maybe, like, it might be Wendy's. I think after Mad Monster Match, I might just order the food. Like, Uber Eats. Because, yeah, I, I am getting pretty hungry. Um... I'm thinking probably Wendy's or Arby's. I don't know. I might just go Wendy's, actually. I haven't gotten had Wendy's in months. Well, I don't know. I might just do it after the stream, though, too, because it's like... I only have, like, two hours left to streaming, probably. Thank you. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be streaming that much longer, like... Rusty Bucket Bay and TikTok Clock should be like 45 minutes each. This level's almost done. Yeah, delivery prices are pretty bad. Well, it's like an extra maybe six bucks on any meal. Sometimes more. But no, I guess I started my stream. I've been streaming for five hours. I had leftover pizza for my stream, but yeah, I am getting hungry. Thank you. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm, I'm just gonna order food right now. Like, literally right now. Because it'll take, like, half an hour to get here. And I guarantee you in half an hour I'm gonna be really hungry. That'll make this stream so much easier. Okay, I'm just gonna order food really quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and order food. I'll be right, I'll be back in like a minute.
Sixty dollars worth of Taco Bell. That's crazy, Nate. Okay, I am almost done ordering. Uh, yeah. I'll go. In order, actually, I'm not gonna eat all of it, but just to have something to eat tomorrow. All right. Do do do. Um. Wait, did they remove the junior bacon burger? <laughs> Uh, oh. Um. Oh no, they still have it. Thank God. No. <laughs> um. Alright. Um. Alright, I think I'm good to just order. Actually, a lot of food. No, that's be. All right, we're good. Oh, all right. Food is ordered. We are set. Come, oh, come. You know, that's fair, homicide. I try to pick up the food when I can, but like first time like this, it's like <laughs> that's not an option. <laughs> And some days you're just lazy, I don't know, some days you just wake up and you're just like, oh, I do not want to drive all the way down to Wendy's or McDonald's, it's like... Oh, that's fair though. It's so weird how that just like, gets rid of like, everything in the view for a bit. Alright, so yeah, in like half an hour it'll be here. Oh yeah, this window's special because of the Magic Zooey. Yeah, McDonald's one dollar drinks, yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for this line. Is there really nothing in here? Really? Maybe there was like a note or something that I forgot that I collected, but alright. Anything. Oh, okay. I don't know. I guess the hitbox is weird. I thought you usually broke this glass, but. Like, if I go like this, it'll probably break, right? Oh, yeah, it's not. Um. Seems like I'm almost done this level already. Thank you. All the pots done. Um, yeah, I guess we just pretty much got church, and then we can transform, and yeah, this level is really close to being done, actually. Obviously, you need the rest of the pots, so that's not gonna take long. Oh, shoot, I looked away for one second. This small hitbox. I'm gonna go back to playing the regular game. I'm gonna be like way too precise with everything. Uh. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about this little. Okay, no, I thought there was like a different area there. I was gonna just have to bring us straight up. Yeah, the cellar is good. Wine cellar jig jiggy. No, I think we're good. Could be wrong though. Wait, um, oh no, we have to, uh, hit the switch and run. I'll be back in like 10 seconds. Maybe 20.
Yeah, we have to do the run. The root beer cellar, yeah. <laughs> this sweet. And then going the right way, right? Yeah. And then it should be permanently opened. A root beer float. I haven't had a float in so long. Like, I'm talking like probably 10 years at least. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Like, a float's obviously so good, but for me, like, I don't know if I'd even make a float because it just kind of seems gross, like, in a sense, just pouring pop with ice cream, but. They're so good. Nothing I ever think- I never think about doing it, though. Oh, well, Pepsi float wasn't good. No, it's been a while since I've had one. I feel like at a restaurant when you order it, it doesn't seem as gross because it's like getting served to you. You know? I feel like if you're getting a float, you have to get it served to you. Like making your own, like sitting there with a pail of ice cream and like a two liter of Coke and doing it yourself, it's like... I don't know, there's something different about that, if that makes any sense, like... I feel like it, you have to be served it, for it to not... I don't know. That sounds gross on paper, but it is delicious, for sure. For sure. Uh, DQ blizzards are pretty good. I just had one, like... Pretty recently, actually. <laughs> like, four or five days ago. We're just talking about food now. Oh, mod sound. Oh, wait, we just copy them, right? I wonder if they actually got the notes right, because that'd be C, D, E, F, that'd be a G, right? I think that's a D. B sharp or B flat or whatever. I wonder if this is like an actual working, like they actually have the notes right. Not bad, Bear, but now watch me. Copy this tune and amazed I'll be. I will. Um. Do and joke. I kind of like how it's like kind of colored. He's blue and you're green. It's like with the overlay there. Probably something I've like noticed before. Yeah, <laughs> I just started feeling like Undertale or something. Cause I'm sure it'd probably be, I think the notes are the actual notes, so it'd probably be pretty easy to like mod the game and like make them play like some sort of crazy melody. This area. I think there's a ROM hack that has a very similar area to this that has like another area. That's throwing me off a little bit. 
get back up. Some megalovania, yeah. <laughs> um, got to sneeze once. All right. Yeah, so there should be. I think it's just a honeycomb up here. Yeah, Mozart, the next guitar hero. No, actually, I'm a big fan of Guitar Hero. I have Clone Hero, and I have like three guitars. I have a pretty sick setup, and I have a drum set too for Clone Hero. And Clone Hero doesn't have uh, mic support, but I have just microphones that I hook up for like karaoke or doing like the vocals and stuff, so no, it's pretty good. Alright, and then the Honeycomb, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Okay, I think if I do this jump wrong, I might just die. So let's be careful coming back down. Uh... Like, I think... Oof, okay, well, that's okay. It's only one damage. Yeah, we're fine. Beauty defeat sounds. <laughs> Real in the channel 64 capture. Uh, it was actually, I was just watching a video about, uh, well, game theory, I guess, like Matt Pat. Turkey Tom made a documentary about him. And I was watching it before this thing. And uh, I don't know, Matt Pat's really cool, but Turkey Tom just did a really good documentary about him. Good. I mean, like, how Matt Pat kind of came to be and stuff. I feel like Game Theory and MatPat are like so like part of the community now, you know? Okay, we have more thank you flowers. We can't do it as... Um, before we do mumble, let's do thank you flowers. Because we might be able to just leave after. I think we've done... I've done everything else as Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, there's the last thank you pot, most likely. Genocide run, yeah. The pacifist run. No, I honestly, I've never played Undertale. I don't know that much about it. Bullet pumpkin coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, but did it, oh, I forgot it's 20 when you get to these later levels. Jeez. That doesn't... That must be vanilla, I guess. But that, that just seems high. I guess we only have one more transformation left. The... Do do. Dude, I'm just checking my food here. Okay, in 15 minutes it'll be here. I'm looking forward to this food almost too much. It'll be good. Uh, wait, so... No, we need to go to... This, wait. This area. How do we do this again? Or no, isn't there like a little spot maybe? Isn't there a hole here or something? Um, there's obviously a way that we get up here. Okay, let's just do this part first. I'll, it'll come to me. I'll think about it while I'm doing this part. Or no, this is how we do it. Yeah. Th this takes us up somehow, I think. Thank you. 
Nope. Shoot, yeah, I have to fall down, actually. Yeah. But we can... Wait, no, this is level start. Yeah, then we go this way. We'll do the bucket. Um, I think we have to get on top of the hedge. There's probably like a little slit in the wall or something, now that I think of it. Oh, this is wrong area. Yeah, I think I know what we need to do. Four ninety-five. Um. Oh, that's weird. Like, there's no life meter there. Might just be an emulator thing, though. Okay, we got all 100. Yeah, we're good. So, now, um, I have to remember how... Okay, because there is the ramp over there that we take. But I think there's a slit in the wall that we can jump through to take that ramp. I think that's how it works. Yeah, no, that's actually what Seo Hani is uh, planning on, Aurora. They're going to make a sequel to this, where it's going to be like a whole mod where you're playing as 2D, like 2D Second Adventure, I think it's going to be called. Um... Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is I'm pretty sure... Oh no, this is it. Okay. Yeah, we have to go through that hole. Yeah, I was literally looking for a hole there like a minute ago and I just didn't see it. And then everything on this floor should be what we need to do. Alright. Yeah, because this might be Honeycomb Room. It isn't going to be. It is. Yeah, oh, why do I... I almost seemed like I knew what I was saying, but then I second-guessed myself like immediately. I think you're right, M. Bison, but... I don't know. I'm not too worried. I'll just 100% this. I think it's 889 notes for, like, the upgrade for, uh, double health or whatever. No, we did both of them. So if I'm okay, one honeycomb, right? No, two jiggies. Wait, do we have all the Jinjos? Yes. Uh, yeah, we did this. Did this. We can drop down there for a uh, one. I'll have one more jiggy. Um, okay. Am I missing a pumpkin jiggy? I don't think I am. Yo, Michael, doing good. How are you doing? I'm questioning, where's this Jiggy? It's... Is it on the chimney? No, I don't think it's gonna be... Another... Hmm... I think it might be in the maze, as silly as that sounds. 
Because he went through the maze and we really got nothing from it, you know? I think... Somewhere in this... No, is there a Biggie in the maze? Um... No. Yeah, I went down the rain gutter already. I got that one. Um... Maybe I missed the one in the cellar. I don't think I did though, but... Main entrance with ghosts, I got that one already. Um, I could have missed a cellar. Or one of, one of the ones with the cellar. Okay, that Banjo-Kazooie door... Yeah, I have a couple thoughts in my head about what this Jiggy could be. Yeah. Not the one in the bucket. I got that one. Do 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 do. I did toilet jiggy already. Unless I'm just like not paying it, and I didn't collect one of them. It really feels like I did everything. Pop of church. I think I did that one too. Where could it be? Yeah, I dropped it in the Great Rain Gutter. Believe it or not, I can't find the Jiggy. Um... I did that. I feel like I did it, I just forgot to collect the Jiggy. Like, whatever it is, it's gonna be a task that I completed. And I just didn't collect the Jiggy after said task. Like... The well? I'm pretty sure I did the well. I went into that bucket earlier. And I got the Jiggy as Banjo, and then I didn't get the notes. Or as Tootie, I mean. Um, Like, something like, I did this puzzle and didn't pick up the Jiggy afterwards seems like maybe like the thing that happened, you know? Like, if I had to take a guess, I did what I'm supposed to do to make a Jiggy appear, and then I just did not collect the Jiggy after, because I assumed I'd auto-get it. That's probably where it's gonna be. Unless there's a Jiggy in the maze that I'm just missing. Another thing that I'm thinking of, in this special Banjo-Kazooie room... Ghost and Entrance, I did that one, M. Bison. That's like the first thing I did. What's the purpose of this room? Yeah, I definitely did hiding in the ghost stomach there, M. Bison. That's like the first one that I got. Okay, like maybe the thank you pots spawn a jiggy somewhere and they don't just give it to you? Yeah, I've been in the toilet. Um, maybe in the bedroom. I think it's going to be like one of these, maybe. Did I grab the Motsan Jiggy? Like, I did do Mo Mozart or whatever his name is. I might not have grabbed the Jiggy, though, after. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should check Mansion or... Or this. I guess I was just... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go inside the church again, I guess. Yeah, just making sure. I got all the Jinjos, yeah. I'm not crazy. I, uh, 
Nine out of ten. Top of the church. I'll double check top of church. I'm pretty sure I did that, but... Hmm. I missed the one on top of the church? Okay. I might have got sidetracked when I was, like, climbing this. Yeah, I thought I did that, too. Like, I swear, uh, like... I went through this loading zone? I might have missed it, though. I might have been reading chat and been, like... That's it. Thank you, Aurora. You're... You're the best. Okay. I guess I didn't think of uh, going up here. Alright, thank you. I just grabbed the notes and left. Okay. Alright, well... 47 minutes. That's okay. I think I only struggled for like 5 minutes there trying to figure out which duty I missed. I don't know why I didn't think of climbing up that pole. Or just like reading chat. We're talking about Wendy's, yeah. And when he wants to bring up Wendy's, you know that uh be able to think about anything else. Alright, speaking of that, my yeah, streamer brain. <laughs> speaking of that, my food's gonna be here in like two minutes. Um Alright, we will go Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, honestly, I I don't know. I think don't don't kill me, bro. Deathless run. Not a single death in this run. Transform back. I always thought it was kind of cool that like Mumbo's here. It's chilling. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Come on, let me get rid of you. Or, or not? Yeah, just I'll just waste that, I guess. Sure. Is it? Do do do, it's been too long. I totally forget to do. Do do. Did I miss the. Switch? No, I definitely hit the switch. It was above the church. I think my food might be here. Wait for a minute. Um. I got grown tiny. Um. Wait, what the? Okay. Why is this not open? Okay, I'm gonna wait. I think I remember what to do now. I need to be a pumpkin. Go out. I think we go to this area later, maybe. Switch. Yeah, I think there's a switch a while back. I think I gotta come back here later. Cause I swear I saw the grunty switch, unless I just forgot to hit it. I think this is something unrelated, though. I 
Wait, okay. I know, like, this is a Cheeto thing, I think. Maybe there's something else here, too. Wait, one sec. Vood should be here. Be right back. Oh yeah, Pearl Jamie, you're right. I know what you're saying, yeah, because we broke the witch's eye. And yeah. Um... This is what we'll do. I'm going to play one of my own videos right now and just eat and, and just not try to eat and play at the same time. I think that'll be easier. Banjo-Kazooie is one of the most... Alright, we'll play... We'll play my old video. It has to do with the game and yeah, I'll just play that while I eat. That way, because yeah, I don't know, I don't really like eating and playing at the same time. It's kind of a pain. Most iconic games for the Nintendo 64, with its memorable, charming characters and its challenging, vibrant worlds. Throughout the years, many people have tried to rank these Jiggies characters and worlds through various tier lists and top 10 lists. All these lists rely on one person's opinion, so that had me thinking. What if I made a survey where I got hundreds of people's opinions on these subjects? Here are the results. First question that I asked is what console did you complete Banjo-Kazooie on for the first time? And 85.5% of people said Nintendo 64. And the new Xbox Series X came in dead last with 0.3%. Next question I asked is what Banjo-Kazooie game is your favorite? And 65.9% of people said the original Banjo-Kazooie, and Banjo-Pilot didn't even get a single vote. Next question I asked was what shoes do you prefer? And 82.6% of people prefer the Turbo Trainers. Now let's check out the 10 worlds of Banjo-Kazooie, and first up is Gruntilda's Lair. 84% of people like Gruntilda's Lair, 3.4% said that it was their favorite, 1.7% said that it was their least favorite. Now let's check out the Jiggies of Gruntilda's Lair. The most popular Jiggy is Into the Urn from the Bubblegoop Swamp Witch Switch. And the least popular Jiggy is the Long Jump from the Rusty Bucket Bay Witch Switch. If we add up the 10 Jiggy percentages, then divide them by 10, it leaves us with the average Jiggy score, which is 61.47. Since we're going to be comparing Gruntilda's layer to the other 9 worlds, I devised this formula to combine these 4 numbers together to get a final score of 76.14. Mumbles Mountain. 83.6% of people like it, 5.2% said it was their favorite, and 3% said it was their least favorite. Now let's check out the Jiggies in Mumbles Mountain. The most popular Jiggy is Gorilla Warfare with 74.1%. And the least popular Jiggy is Run for the Ruins with 54.7%. Mumbles Mountain has an average Jiggy score of 64.56%, giving it a final score of 76.34%. Treasure Trove Cove. 
88.6% of people like it, 16.5% said it was their favorite, and 1.8% said it was their least favorite. Now let's check out the jiggies of Treasure Trove Cove. The most popular jiggy is To The Lighthouse with 82.4%, making it the new most popular jiggy, and the least popular jiggy is The Pond On The Hill. Treasure Trove Cove has an average Jiggy score of 66.65, giving it a final score of 107.04, making it the new Best World. Clanker's Cavern 45.4% of people like it, 1.5% said it was their favorite, and 25.9% said it was their least favorite. Yo, thank you for now becoming for a member in a Sawjin Network, appreciate it, thank you. Blowhole with 71%. And the least popular Jiggy is the Winding Tunnel with 37.1%. And this is now yeah, the Yeah, Winding new... Tunnel is pretty bad. <laughs> 37%. Worst Jiggy. Yeah, the new Worst Jiggy. Winker's Cavern has an average Jiggy score of 55.77. Give... Yeah, so people really like... Um, Treasure Trove Cove there. We get a final score of 1.79. So this is the new Worst World. Bubble Goop Swamp. 62.3% of people liked it, 3.4% said it was their favorite, and 9.9% said that it was their least favorite. Now for the Jiggies. The best Jiggy is Break the Egg with 77.2%, and the worst Jiggy is A Treacherous Trail with 47.1%. The average Jiggy score is 60.25, giving it a final score of 48.26. Freeze Easy Peak. 83.6% of people like it, 16.3% said it was their favorite, and 2.8% said it was their least favorite. For the Jiggies, Inside the Snowman's Pipe is the most popular with 81.9%, and Hat Bashing was the least popular with 54.2%. The average Jiggy score is 68.43%, giving it a final score of 103.02. So a pretty respectable score. Gobi's Valley. 72.5% of people like it, 4.2% said it was their favorite, and 5.9% said that it was their least favorite. Now for the Jiggies. The most popular Jiggy is Freshwater with 77%. The least popular Jiggy is Shara Shuffle with 53.9%. The average Jiggy score is 64.67, giving Gobi's Valley a final score of 65.19. Mad Monster Mansion. 80.6% of people like it, 17.2% said it was their favorite, and 3.8% said it was their least favorite. Now for the Jiggies. The most popular Jiggy is Organ Lesson with 79.4%, and the least popular Jiggy is Well Worth It with 52%. The average Jiggy score is 66.33%, giving it a final score of 100.27. Rusty Bucket Bay. 48.2% of people like it, 7.7% said that it was their favorite, and 37.1% said that it was their least favorite. For the Jiggies, the most popular Jiggy is on top of all Smokey with 72%, and the least popular Jiggy is Stop the Props with 29%, and this becomes the new least popular Jiggy with a large margin. The average Jiggy score is 54.39, giving Rusty Bucket Bay a final score of negative 7. Yeah, negative score. <laughs> yeah, stop stop the props is pretty bad. <laughs> 5 1, making it the new worst world. Click clock wood. 79.6% of people like it. 24. I feel like someone like Hassan right now, where I'm like, I need to pause to add my commentary so it's fair use, but like this is my video. Like <laughs> I don't need to pause this at all. I can just watch, you know? <laughs> 6% said that it was their favorite, and 8% said that it was their least favorite. For the Jiggies, the highest rated Jiggy is Eerie the Eagle with 76.2, and the lowest rated Jiggy is Leaf Leaps with 57.8. The average Jiggy score is 69.09, giving it a final score of 107.56, making it the new most popular world. Here's the data presented in the world order, and here's the data presented from worst to best. I'm honestly really surprised that four worlds were able to score over 100. It shows just how solid Banjo Kazooie's world. I totally forgot that Tick, um, Click Clock Woods and Treasure Trove Cove are that close. Just barely beat it out. Worlds were. Although Treasure Trove Cove was the most liked world, Click Clock Wood was able to take the number one spot because of how many people said it was their favorite and its high jiggy percentage. Although Rusty Bucket Bay ended up having a negative score because of its high least favorite percentage, it actually had a decently high most favorite percentage of 7.7. .7. It's the fifth highest in the game. Clinker's Cavern ended up having the lowest rating for if people liked the course, and the lowest rating for most favorited. 
Now let's check out the characters of Banjo-Kazooie, and first up is Banjo. 95% of people like Banjo, 26.3% said Banjo was their favorite, and 0.3% said he was their least favorite. Since we're comparing many characters with these three stats, I devised this formula to combine these three numbers together to get a final score of 147. Now for Kazooie. 97.3% like her, 45.9% said that she was their favorite, 1.5% said that she was their least favorite, giving her a final score of 186.1. Now for Tootie. 43.6% like her, 0.7% said that she was their favorite, 27.1% said that she was their least favorite, giving her a final score of negative 9.2. Bottles. 71.4% like him, 5.2% said that he was their favorite, 8.2% said that he was their least favorite, giving him a final score of 65.4. Gruntilda, 79.3% like her, 9.2% said that she was their favorite, 5.9% said that she was their least favorite, giving her a final score of 85.9. Brentilda, 26.6% of people like her, 0.5% said that she was their favorite, 53.9% said that she was their least favorite, giving her a final score of negative 80.2. I think the reason she scored so poorly is because of her purpose in the game. Every time you talk to Bruntilda, she tells you three facts about Gruntilda. These facts are randomized with each playthrough. If you memorize these facts, it helps with the quiz in the end. Although this mechanic may seem okay on someone's first playthrough, if you ever play through Banjo-Kazooie a second time, talking to Bruntilda every time you see her can become a major hassle. Mumbo Jumbo 87.6% like him, 12.2% said that he was their favorite, 3% said that he was their least favorite, giving him a final score of 106. Here are all the characters listed in the order of the instruction manual, and here are all the characters ranked from least to best. So overall, this is about what I expected for the character rankings. Yeah, and that's it for these rankings. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you could leave a like if you liked it, or maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Shout out. Alright, I think we're good. <laughs> food is down. I'll have some good food. Alright. We will return back to this madness now. Oh yeah, I'll turn it back down my four decibels here. Uh, and you'd see all the, all the lanky. Oh, that sorry video was like the perfect amount of time. And honestly, it's been so long since I made those. I honestly forgot the results, so it was almost like watching it for my first time in a sense. Um. All right. Um. I, I ground pounded that, didn't I? Oh no. Well, I did, yeah. Okay, thank you, okay. Cause I was starting to really second guess myself there. I was just like, why is this not working? I thought you just had to ground pound this lid. What am I forgetting? 
Like, cause K, okay, cause it was like when I couldn't figure out Congo earlier. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why am I not collecting the orange? Wait, what? Enter purple melody. A pink melody, purple melody. Oh no. Okay, thank you, Aurora. Uh. Yeah, because I really, I'm sure I tried ground pounding it. Purple. Like, I might have to ground pound at a specific spot, but. Alright. Uh, oh, this is, this could be really bad. This could be insanely bad. It might be an early stream here, chat. Oh, Natoya. I mean, chat. Yeah, it's a hundred percent required, yeah. I mean I could I could do a game I'll I'll do a game shark code if it doesn't work, I guess. But Um, yeah, I'll probably- I'm sure there's a game shark code to raise the water levels. I don't know, maybe I'll just end stream. I don't know. Good chat, thanks. Like, if I can find a game shark code that's quick. Um... I've been streaming for like six hours now. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, okay, I feel so much better about myself now. I was like, do I really forget how to open this coffin? Okay, well, uh. There's a treasure trove cove code to raise the water level. It's not working because Tui's hitbox is a little bit smaller. Aren't the mini coffins breakable or something? Try eggs. Maybe I'll try eggs here. There's a code. Yeah. Okay. Wait, ah, oh, I hate this hitbox. Okay, no, I'm deathless. Yeah, I'll transform back. Okay, does anybody know the code? Like, off the top of their head? Has the dev playtested this? I guess not. Can't get past this part. Yeah, we'll use the code, I guess. If anybody in chat knows the code, I'd, I'd appreciate it. I mean, I could look it up myself, for sure. Like, if no one gives me the code in chat, it's fine. Oh, hey, thank you, Aurora. Oh, that's such a long code. But... <laughs> but I guess, yeah, we have to beat the game. So I should be able to 100% it, though. I forgot how long the codes are. <laughs> uh. Oh, 
Yeah, if, I think if you use three cheat codes, it deletes your save, so I can use this one and I should be fine. But yeah, Banjo, yeah, just the hitboxes. Like, I had a feeling I would be able to 100% this game, like... At least there's literally a cheat in the game, so I don't even have to use Game Shark, so it's like... I guess this is like the initial playtest then, you know, I don't think this game has ever been fully playtested then. Well, this is the playtest. <laughs> um... Be so long I do with these Game Shark. Ugh. You're not wrong, but at this point it's like, I don't know what the Game Shark code is. Oh, hey, okay, wrong door. I'll probably just do it this way. I'll just enter it in the cheat manually. That way I can say beat it without Game Shark, I guess, just for the uh Oh, it's not deathless. Whatever. I had one death. I'm gonna blame that on the water level, me yeah, like whatever. If the game was normal, I wouldn't have died. Wait. Oh wait, no, that's the same thing. I want treasure trove cove. Uh. Oh no. Okay, whatever. I probably could have used one of the, some of the ding pots to make this easier, but I guess I'll do the other two cheats when I'm there too: pink melody and purple melody. Yes, yeah, restart the no death run. Yeah, no. Yeah, the cheatless deathless run has been yeah. Oh yeah, it must just be a hitbox issue. Yeah, timers pause on the run. Yeah, good thing about it that way. Oh come on, buddy. And I mean, there might be a way to glitch into that room, but yeah, this cheat, like, it, it'll work. Yeah, no, I had a feeling, I think I, I was talking about this, like, way earlier in the stream that I thought that this might happen. Or no, we need to drain the water level. Yeah, skill issue. <laughs> Can you beat Tootie without cheating? No. <laughs> you too short. I'm not looking forward to typing in all these codes. Alright, we'll do pink melody, purple melody. First. It's such a long code. P I N S K Pink Bell O D. Mel. Oh. At least there isn't a time limit or anything, but. Pink melody. Purple melody. Hopefully this works. It should. No, wait, the P didn't. Uh, 
I'm just gonna go out and in. And yeah, reset the room, yeah, just to... Because the initial P didn't do anything. There we go. Purple melody. I cannot believe how long that code is, though. That is insane. Purple. Melody. Now, cheat up, you go with a hitch to the water level switch. Jeez. <laughs> I'm like, am I even. <laughs> okay, C. I think that's good. H. E A. Is this not working now? Wait, did it not go EAT? That look at my replay sheet. Might just mess that up. Um. Oh, they don't make noise after cheat. Okay, cheat up. E U P Y O U U Go G O Get up, you go with W I with out a pitch. Water. Water level. Love. Uh... 
Um. Okay, please, for the love of God. Is that it? I don't know. You think I forgot up? Up you go without a hitch to the water level switch. I missed the letter. Oh, shoot. Uh. Eat up you go without a hitch. <sighs> no, okay, I'm gonna look at the one where Aurora separated all the words out for me. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it's so long, it's so easy to make one little mistake when you're entering like that many letters. And you have nothing to like confirm that you're doing it right. But cheat. A T up. You up. You. Without. Please, for love of God. Yeah. Is there like a really short cheat I could do and try and just see if that works? Because maybe him changing the other codes made those not work? I don't know. I think I did it right. I, I really don't know anymore. I'll check the water. Start cheat snow. I just end stream like... 
I think, I don't know, I think I entered it right. I don't know, I'm not gonna... Up you go without a hitch. Up to the water? Wait. Up you go without a switch. Up you go without a hitch. Up to the water level switch? You think there's a second up? Okay. You think there's two ups? If there's two ups, that would make sense. According to Wiki, there's two ups? Like, probably nobody has ever done this code before. Why would anybody do this code? Who would go out of their way to do this code? There's probably conflicting information about the cheats. I'll search it up. Um... Alright, I'm on the wiki here. Um... Um, up you go without a hitch up to the water level switch. Up you go without a switch. What the heck? Why? Okay, I think I just caught the cheat wrong. Like, people. Okay. Why is there two separate... Okay, so if I type in this code, I think... Up you go without a hitch. Up you go without a hitch to the water level switch. Yeah, like this is a listed code. I think this is wrong. Because the wiki contains a different one. Up you go without a hitch to the water level switch. The wiki okay. There's two separate codes. No, they're the same code. Like people just put in the wrong code. Up you. Wait, what's the coffin lid one? Alright, I'm gonna try up you go without a hitch up to the water level switch. Because I think just people have been wrongfully listing this cheat for a while, and no one has ever checked on it, because who is ever gonna do this cheat? So, um, because yeah, probably nobody actually uses these codes, so it's been wrongly listed on so many websites for so long, and I'm probably the first person to ever test it. But yeah, because that's on the Wikipedia, but other pages don't have the second up on there. We need Nintendo power. That's what we need. Alright, I'll do it from the wiki. Because, yeah, there's obviously two separate codes for the same thing, so it's like... And if that doesn't work, I'll try the coffin one. But, no, the source of the other, like... Okay, the one with two ups from the wiki, the one with one up is from, like, GameSpot and other. <laughs> cheat. Okay, maybe I'll just do- okay, cheat. This should get rid of the coffin lid. Like, two ups might work too. <gasps> yeah, I need to drain the water, yeah. Ugh. Feeling lightheaded? I'm just a little frustrated, to be honest. I've 
putting this cheat twice now. Like the wiki's wrong or something. Like, I don't know. Just frustrating, I guess. Yeah, I'll try coffin lid first. Cheat. This should get rid of of the crypt coffin lid. Okay. I'm surprised they have a cheat just for that. Like it almost seems like it was made for this occasion. Like why wouldn't you have the ground pound to get rid of that? Why even have that cheat? That just doesn't make any sense. Okay, cheat. <sighs> yeah, someone knew. Someone in 1998 knew I was gonna run into this issue. Like that it just makes no sense why they have that. Yeah, they really thought ahead. Cheat. It. Okay. This. This should. Oh, I cannot believe I got. There's like a wrong code listed to just make it worse. This should. Yet. All right. Red. Of. Get rid of F. The get ripped ripped Ripped. I can't believe they have this code though. This is just insane. Often. We should be good, right? We just leave. We heard a moo. Alright. There it is. What's up, Lewis? Having chat. Oh, I guess. No, that makes sense, game creator. It just... Yeah, I can't believe no one fact-checked that cheat. But no, there's two ups, I guess. That's probably wrongfully listed all over the internet right now. But yeah, who would ever use that cheat, though? Who would ever be like, I'm gonna raise the water level by using the... Yeah. But no one, probably no one has ever tried that before. The only reason you'd ever do that cheat is if somebody made, called Seohane made a mod where they put 2D into the game where 2D couldn't properly ground pound the coffin lid so you couldn't raise the water levels. That's the only reason why you'd ever check it, you know? Is that specific scenario. <laughs> it's supposed to get rid of the coffin lid. And I can't ground pound it because 2D's hitbox is different. 
and with 2D's hitbox different being or with 2D's hitbox being different, her ground pound isn't getting rid of that coffin lid, so. We found the one situation where that cheat comes in handy. And the fact that they have two cheats for that too is kind of insane. I should probably be using the warps, but I never remember where the warps take me. I usually play this game in one sitting where you don't really have to take the warps much. Now we gotta get Pumpkin again. You know, this is gonna be a long stream. You know, the most useless cheats comes in clutch, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the two ups would made the water level go up. But it's just been wrongfully listed on a bunch of websites all this time. And no one thought to fact check it, which is completely fair. Like, if it was like the Wishy Washer Banjo code, obviously someone would have tried that and like fact checked it, but who's gonna sit there and try every one of those codes, you know? Yeah, no, I agree, Marty Man. It's, yeah, each one of those is tied to like some special code for something else. Yeah, capitalizes with no space. Yeah, I can see how they got it wrong. After this, us as a community should correct the wiki, so no one has to go through what I want. No. <laughs> we will correct every source. Good vid idea? Yeah. The Banjo-Kazooie cheat code that everybody got wrong. For all these years, yeah, make a whole video around it. For years, people have been typing in this code wrong, or this code has been listed wrong. That's kind of that's why I kind of want to try that code. But this code, it makes a little bit more sense. That way, we can actually ground pound on the switch. Yeah, the grunty space is in first fun. That wouldn't be that bad. Okay, if this coffin isn't disappeared, I am going to be so upset. What if they still can't ground pound the switch? I don't know. Banjo Kazooie Sandcastle Conspiracy, uh. There we go. Look at that. It's open. It's wide open. No. Uh, I knew, uh. Uh. End stream or type in the other code. This is too painful. I'm not gonna type in that code again. I'm gonna end stream. Like, I'm, I'm done. I do not want to go back to Treasure Trove Cove and put in that code and hope that it's right. Like, no, I... I... Show game over, cuts, you know, do that, yeah, like, I... Well, I don't know, that code would probably work. And it would change the water level. I mean, I could and just finish the game, but I've been streaming for... Six hours already. I think I've shown off all the abilities. Like, we don't learn any more moves in this game, I don't believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show off game over, but yeah. Yeah, I kind of just feel like chilling. I do not want to enter in that code again. That's like torture entering codes that long. 
Beauty's game ends in my tower. Turn it up, I need full power. Yes, your grunty ship. Transformation soon be complete. Help! Hmm, Tootie, hi! The Phil Hall. Bear finish, grunty witness. Yeah, it's all part of beta testing. But yeah, if anybody wants to beat this game, you probably just have to type in the code. Look at Grunty. He's a protagonist now. I'm much cooler than Boundro. Yeah, there is a cheat code to do that. I need the two ups in there, though. I was doing the one up code. But no, I. Duty. Your brother wants a word with you. Does she all. Yeah, they must always turn into that. Or no, no, he usually turns in, she usually turns in like the bad, like ugly 2 or whatever, actually, yeah. That's actually different, alright. Well, ugh. Trek 2 yeah, 2D. Trek 2 Well, anyways, thank you guys for checking out this stream. Sorry that I have to end like that, but like, I'm not gonna enter in four codes, like. And then just, yeah. That's, that's too much, even for me. Anyways, thank you guys for oh, thank you guys for checking out the stream. Appreciate it. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day there. Peace.